Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Andrew Chicken, and welcome back to another live stream. Last Monday, or uh, I guess this Monday, technically, the previous stream, we were supposed to do champion requests, but they released a horse instead. So we ended up playing the horse for like four hours. Today, we're going to catch up on those champion requests finally. And uh, surprisingly, none of the first two champion requests are actually for the horse. Bear in mind, the horse is still here. She is technically a champion. <laughs> so, theoretically, if you wanted to redeem the horse, there's absolutely nothing I can do about it except play the horse. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and invite some people to the party. So if you want to join, please say a name in the chat. I will invite, and then we will play some Pip, we will play some Nyx, and it should be absolutely splendid. Starting with Natazi, as well as Camille112. Wait a minute, did I spell it incorrectly? Camille112. Uh, okay. Starting up. Yeah, okay, makes sense. You Dodd's opening the game? All right, perfect. Well, in that case, we'll invite Singaporean Bird oh, while we wait. There we go, lovely. <coughs> <laughs> I'm an amused face bard. Is that an actual name? I'm just curious. Yo. Oh, it's not. Okay. <laughs> I, had to, I had to try. Turns out this person is not actually bald. Dang, five games of Eevee. You just want this to be an Eevee stream? Well, okay. Twist my arm, why don't you? <laughs> ah. <clears throat> All right, let's try uh, Camille again. Uh, nope, still launching, I guess. It is, I'm loading up. Oh, you're loading up too. Okay, well, I guess I've been bamboozled. What are the drops? Uh, I don't know. I don't know why Twitch keeps doing this, where it says the drops are enabled, but there aren't actually any drops. Because I just, I have the drops feature enabled all the time, just in case there are drops. But there never are, but recently people have been getting notified that, hey, we have drops enabled, just so you know. But there's no drop. It's, it's very confusing. I, I don't know why. Okay, wow. Everyone's taking a really long time to load. All right. Uh... Okay, try I'm bald. All right, we'll, we'll do I'm bald. Is I'm bald the first one in? I'm bald is the first one in. Okay. Mm -mm. I'll let Camille and Udods race to uh, type their name in the chat and see which one actually loaded in first. Yeah, he is bald. Yeah, that's crazy. I mean, hey, eh, good for him, you know? <clears throat> Some people rock the bald look. <clears throat> so. All right, ooh, Udods up first. And Udod's made it in. Udod's loaded first. All right. Better luck next time, Camille. You'll just have to join when we restart the party. All right. Let's go. We'll queue for... I don't really like Team Deathmatch. We'll just queue for Siege Onslaught. How does that sound? Yeah, don't worry. We're not playing the limited time mode. Because the limited time mode is horse only. And my first two champion quests... My first seven champion quests are not the horse. So. Yeah. <clears throat> Hmm, no one ever play him? What? Is Omen a good champion? Oh, yeah, sadly, okay, Pencil Pen, Omen used to be good. But recently they have absolutely killed him. Uh, seriously, he's not good right now. 
because the they nerfed the more 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 card by reworking it, and then they also nerfed Umbral Lance into the ground. Umbral Lance used to make it so that you were basically like binary star genos. You were just pinpoint accurate all the time with the regular fire rate. Now with this talent, you still have spread, and then the fire rate is slower than the pinpoint accurate ramped up fire rate. So it's just self-sabotage. And then his base shotgun is just not good enough in terms of its consistency. I like him. Yeah, it's fair enough if you like him, but... Like, in terms of being competitively viable, he's just not right now. It's very unfortunate. <clears throat> so yeah, I wouldn't necessarily recommend playing him in, like, ranked, you know? Genos Ripoff and Nyx Simp. Yeah, exactly. Which, I mean, understandable simping for Nyx. I, I, think, we, I Nyx. think we can agree. Uh, <laughs> Nyx. Hmm. Yeah. But, uh... Uh, yeah. He's just a bit cringe. Just a bit cringe, isn't he? Why choose the next champion instead of stock? Because two of them just got redeemed. I wish viewers could see the actual redeem queue. That would be really good. Like, I wish there was just a way for me to combine the requests queue with the donation queue, and then have all of those just visible so you guys know what's coming up next and i have it all in one tab but sadly that's not a thing so we cry his voice kind of makes him lame too yeah his voice is silly it would be a good announcer pack but yeah i mean it's no hate to the voice actor the voice actor did a fine job it's just like it doesn't really match the character you know uh, it was, he's just a bit of a design failure, which is sad because he was pretty close to being a fun character to me. In terms of having a slightly simpler kit, and having fluidity and combos and stuff, but... With the changes, they've kind of just dropped the ball. And yeah, his visual design is horrible. I mean, his head looks goofy, his skins are terrible. The new skin is pretty decent. By his skins are terrible, I'm mainly talking about the recolors. Gold skin is awful, red skin looks like a crayon, purple skin looks like a crayon. But, yeah, I don't know. At the end of the day, I guess it's not too surprising, because for me at least, a lot of the characters from the past few years are just not good. Which makes me regret all the time I spent leveling each and every one of them up to level 50. Oh boy. Like, out of the past, we'll, we'll just go back to Azan, right? Since Azan, the only characters I've enjoyed are Azan, Nyx, to some extent, well, although definitely less than Azan. Mm, maybe. Let's go. Yeah. Pretty much just the tanks. <laughs> That's it. And the horse. The horse. Can't forget the horse. Newest character. I do enjoy the horse. But otherwise, yeah. If they were gone tomorrow, I wouldn't miss them. Seven's voice pack fits his character so well and would make a 10 out of 10 announcer pack. As the president of Seven's Hate Club, I have to agree. He he does have a really good voice. That's like one of the only good things about him. <laughs> he does have style. I, I do like that. Lilith? Lilith's, Lilith's an interesting design concept, and I appreciate some of the changes they've done to her since release. Not my personal cup of tea. I, I suppose, like... Yeah, she's she's better than some of the other characters like Betty La Bamba. So yeah, I, I guess it would be unfair for me to call her like terrible necessarily. Just I, not my preferred uh, support playstyle, I suppose. No. Lilith has kind of bad poor Back healing output. Begin. No, she does not have poor healing output. You just have to have actually a good amount of skill to make that healing work. Uh, so yeah. She's not your easy, just Saris spam. You do require a bit more tact with placing the swarms, making sure your hex is managed properly, but... I mean, geez, she absolutely destroys on the healing output. Like, if you put a swarm, full charge swarm, Cursed Accord, hex, on Inara, she just doesn't die. <laughs> she just doesn't die. So, you know. That's pretty cool. Alright, we are on Onslaught, Snowfall Junction here. Recently added. Super happy to see it. Here's a potion for you. Keep you topped off there. Go diff that moji for me. Uh, we'll keep trying to shoot Fernando and missing for some reason. 
Gotta warm up a little bit. Ooh, you were in the distortion field. Uh, throw that potion there to hit both him and Satsi. There you go. You guys are chilling. Hey, thank you. Welcome, Rose Star. Champ requests. Hum. Oh boy. How about you run my focus lens Ying build? Ah, well that's something different. even more fun since her ult got updated. Yeah, I'm honestly a bit nervous for that. Whenever I play focusing lens, I always feel a little bit stressed out because I feel like you know. I must hit all of the shots or I'm bad and I don't get value and it's just like, ah! <laughs> yeah, we can absolutely do that. Although I will warn you, Rose Star, today. We just uh, had Stealthy redeem five games of Eevee. So, there's a bit of a queue right now. Uh, and we actually won't get to that for a while. Oh, there's Vatu. I couldn't see him, man. Alright, well, we're good. Fernando's chilling. Let me throw a potion back there to you. We are absolutely dominating this Onslaught match right now. I'm not letting them kill anybody. Ah, except maybe you, Dots. If I keep missing. Alright, you're just gonna have to wait. There's a potion. Oh, I'm getting targeted, aren't I? Uh... Okay. Let's just do that. Because I'm spooked. Probably wasn't necessary. She was one, but... I don't know. It is what it is. We're winning, so it's okay. If you think about it, Lilith started the stupid trend of supports leaning towards heal body. When she first came out, she was the only healer who consistently got 150 plus healing, and after that, every healer had to do it. You might be right about that. I don't think it's necessarily her fault alone, because they also did the keyword thing, and, you know, they were a bit silly. Plus, you can have heal bots without making every healer in the game a heal bot. Like, Lilith, as a standalone character, as a heal bot, wouldn't necessarily be a bad thing. For the class, I don't think. Just like just like Ying being a heal bot isn't necessarily a bad thing, you know? It's okay to have a few heal bots. But yeah, she really did just have ridiculous healing output. And that was her thing. Ridiculous healing output, unkillable, and high damage. And yeah, now a lot of the supports are trying to emulate that. I really do like that they are starting to kind of lean more into utility, though. Like, the Ying ult change, I think, was absolutely fantastic. You know, giving her a new form of CC immunity where you can reactively use it to cleanse CC effects that are already on your teammates. That is super unique. We don't have that in the game. And, yeah. Now Ying has to actually strategize more with her ult. I think that's awesome. Yeah, hello. Okay, Moji. Coming up here. That might have been a mistake. I'm running away. Goodbye. No, 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 no. Oh, wow. Thanks, Seven. <laughs> Surprise, Seven actually saved me. Ah! Oh, yo, Seven. <laughs> Alright, good job. Ah. I love a cannon power Yagroth limited time mode. Oh yeah, like a Yagroth boss fight. That's been asked for before, and I think that would be dope. Give Paladin some PvE, since Overwatch just cancelled all the rest of their PvE. Uh -huh. Sounds like a good idea. Rose Star 999 donated $3. Five games of Eevee? Meh. How about three games of Eo? One game with each talent. You can compare them in usefulness. Feel free to spread them out. You know, there are some days I regret being a shell and a sellout for money and doing anything that people pay me to do. This might be one of those days. <laughs> Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll do it. We'll, we'll get it out of the way for you. Mm. Goodness, we are all on massive streaks. I don't... I guess they have killed three of us, because they got 15 points. Definitely not me. <laughs> I don't know who they killed. It was five games of Eevee and three of Io. I'll go play Minecraft and come back in like an hour. All right, Earl Meyer, see ya. <laughs> yeah, we're going we're gonna to be a bit busy. Let me turn the regular champion request off. Now that we officially have an eight-game backlog here. Jeez. Oh, it was... Wait, so how did they get the extra five points then? We only died twice. Vatu and Seven. Huh. That's weird. Well, anyways. Uh, let's queue again. Actually, let's take a build first, and then let's queue again. We have to take a Nyx build. Nyx. So we have to steal from Natterwing. 500. Uh, here we go. So which loadout is it? We have two. Dominatrix and BDSM. <laughs> right. Well, it's for her first talent. I believe that's the Rift Slash talent. 
so I'm, I don't know which one this is. The first one. Oh, okay, the first one. So Dominatrix, gotcha. So we have increased damage on Royal Presence. No increased range, though. Max health level 5. The little thing's only at level 2. True freedom filler, unchecked power filler. Interesting. Well, we will try it out. Uh, we'll put an exclamation mark along with the question mark. There you go. And let's cue. Interesting names you have there, I must admit. <laughs> uh. Three games of Io. I wouldn't subject my worst enemy to that. It says Elden the Great. There are some people out there who have like multi-hundred level Io's. Mine is level 70 for some reason. It's because of all the sacrifice you guys keep making me play. It's kind of like how my Strix got up to level 69 purely because of the Pistol Strix requests. Oof. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I got her to level 50 because I got every character to level 50. It's more like 20 extra levels that have pretty much exclusively come from uh, Flyo gameplay. Yeah, I, I don't know how people do it. To me, Io is just a little bit too boring. My, my support roster is a bit quirky, because if you look at them, my main supports, my number one support by a clear margin is Grok, Siege! then Pip, Damba's been getting up there. Uh, <laughs> like, I, I, I play some weird supports compared Nips. to what most people yeah, conventionally main. Stupid, no matter what. How many Grok mains do you know, huh? And then after that is Grover. A, because I enjoy him, B, because he's meta, so when I need to actually try hard on a support, I have Grover. Uh, and then Corvus isn't actually too far behind Grover, and most of that happened back when Corvus was released. So. But yeah, uh, we're on Bright Marsh. It is Siege, okay. <laughs> Have to double check since some of the Siege maps are in Onslaught now. What skin should I go? I really like this skin, but I also really like Divine Matriarch, but I also really like the gold skin. Ah. And the blue version of this skin, too, I guess. We'll just stick with the red one. To avoid the choice paralysis, Time just don't make a choice. Easy. My reign of violence begins now. The horse broke Paladin's API, so I can't check Seven's ranked stats overall. Oh, that sucks. Huh. Nyx or Nando overall? Uh, are you asking in terms of the meta? Or my preference? My preference for Nando. In the meta? Probably also Fernando, to be honest. Fernando's really good right now. His ultimate is one of the best in the game, hands down. And this update, you can play Scorch while having the consistency of the Age's shield. And Scorch greatly increases both your damage output, your potential to get kills, and your ultimate charge. So, really good. Also, yeah, I see the Kana snipe. Alright, we gotta go show a force. <laughs> Kana, I'm using someone else's build, so please <laughs> show some semblance of mercy. They've got uh, Power Cosmium over there. Is that bait? Rostar999 donated $1. When you do the Ying request, please use the skin you find most attractive. Oh. Not saying chat will judge you, but... Okay. I already know what skin I'm going to play, but I'll keep it a secret until we play it's probably, it's probably not that much of a secret. You can probably guess which skin I'm going to play, but, uh, yeah. Okay. Is he a baiter? Yeah, he is a baiter. Figures. <laughs> I was gonna wait, because I'm looking at that team, and I don't see any reason to buy Unbound apart for Power Cosmium. So, yeah. <laughs> he actually just baited my teammates into buying an item that isn't really that helpful. Just have that charge. I don't know where I'm gonna throw it. I guess I'll just throw it there. I don't know why I'm just going to point. I should maybe stop. Here, have some poison. I'm gonna run away, because most of my team is dead. Here, take this. Take this. Let me try and do some damage out here. Oh no, this is bad. Io's dead. I'm gone. Alright. They went behind and wiped our DPS. I should maybe play Nyx like a real tank instead of just a point bot. That sounds like a great idea. I'm staying here for two hours only to find that out. Well, I think the Ying request is... After the EB request. Okay, yeah, you might be here for a while. <laughs> oh, oh no. Alright, uh, let's try and push up here a little bit. I'm gonna get the poison active. Just get it on Rom for that consistent damage. I don't like using the poison damage card without the poison range card. They just go together so perfectly. Because it really makes it so easy to apply the poison when you have the radius card. Otherwise, it's actually pretty difficult. And that's annoying, you know? Well, I'm just dead. 
our DPS are getting farmed. It is Kana, so. And I'm playing Nyx with a random build. Yeah. Street style? Does he? Oh yeah, I guess he does have a street style skin. No, it's not that skin. I've never particularly been a huge fan of the star, or not the star sister, the uh, the street style aesthetic, and the star sister aesthetic. While we're at it, actually, no, that's a lie. I do like some of the star sister skins. I like Anara. I like Amani. Okay, more poison. I don't actually want to hold W E though. I want to hold W with these guys and then hold them in. Oh, J K. I just got pranked. Well, I'm dead now. <laughs> ah! This is so rough. I feel like we can't kill anything. I'll try and get back out and do one more touch, but I literally have zero eliminations, and I think that's also true for my entire team. So... Do and avoid grips. Can I even touch in time? No, I can't. Wow. Okay, well. That's a shame. Maybe I do need some Unbound after all. Yikes. Star Sister skins are all good aside from Imani's ones? Wait, Questionator, what? Hold on. Wait a minute. Questionator, you explain yourself now. Star Sister Imani is dope. What do you mean? In my opinion, the worst Star Sister skins are the Saris and Io ones. What do you think they should do to rework Formidable on Nando? Because there's no reason to not run Scorch now because of the extra damage you get. I don't think they need to, necessarily. I've seen people play Formidable with some level of success. And now you can play Formidable just as easily now as Scorch if you want the extra crowd control reduction, which can be good. I despise the hair and voice pack? You dis... Questionator, get out of here. You despise the voice pack? Okay. Ah, can I poison him? No, he's too far away. See, that's why the Poison Radius card, I think, is just so mandatory when you run the damage card. You're actually trying to hit that damage consistently. Play the best champion. Ah! Eternal Azine. Stealthy, make up your mind. Do you want five games of Eevee or do you want Eternal Azine? We're going to be here for like five hours today at this rate. What the heck? Ah! You can't excuse the eyebrows on Star Sister Mani. Okay, that's true. But still. Enemy killing spree. Plus you've got like the rainbow fire. Ah, stop it! I like it. I don't care what anyone says. I gave you 1500 bits, no complaining. Okay, true. And I do get to play five matches of Eevee, so. Oh my gosh, I'm actually just dead. Where are our damage champions? We need some pressure out here, man. We need something on the enemy team to die. Look at those streaks, dude. Alright, I'll get Unbound 2, I guess, just in case I get Void Gripped again. Bomb King. Okay, at least he didn't waste the ult. Also, my thing got bugged. It wouldn't charge. Rift Slash. Okay. Hello. It's a good thing he's not playing Omen, otherwise I would have died. Okay. We will chill here and attempt to do some sort of damage. There's that. I'm gonna get Poison on him. Just cause... Um, Void Gripped again. Don't make me ult, Io. Thank you. Where is BK going? Oh, yeah, he's just dead. Okay. Put this up there. That hit Genos, actually. Okay. Uh, oh, boy. This is bad. Uh, shield. Throw that up. I'm probably just dead. I was pumping all the healing into me, but it doesn't matter, because literally nothing is dead. Except Androxus died, I guess, once. But, like, bruh. We just don't have any kills. Imani has a better skin, but it costs 2,400 crystals. That's true. But also, that's true. <laughs> it is a better skin. But it also is ridiculously expensive. And just because a character has a better skin doesn't mean that the skin is bad, you know? It's like, oh, okay, well, Koga has boss fight, but that doesn't make Omega a bad skin. Both of them are awesome, right? Man, that sucks. I got top damage on the team, but literally everyone got zero kills except for Bomb King. Seriously, a massive DPS div. I'm not trying to be mean, that's just the truth. So, alright, let's go again. This time I'll be on DPS. I'm going to play some Eevee, because we have five matches of Eevee to get to, so hey, let's go.
Woohoo. BK carry. Yeah, true. BK carried that. <laughs> He's popping off. All right, Eevee time. Yeah, Serpent yeah, Beach. Kind of We're level 192. We're getting really close to the 200 mark. Gonna have to make an Eevee video soon and hope that the level 200 game is actually good. Because sometimes you just get those bad games. And, you know, it's like one every, like, 20 matches for me. So we gotta hope that that one out of 20 matches doesn't fall on a, <laughs> the level 200 game, right? Hmm. Hmm. Could do a few EV TDM matches. I could do that to speed it up. I think I'll do your IO matches in TDM, though, and I'll keep the uh, EV matches in Siege just to balance out my enjoyment of the game. <laughs> Gotta raise the champ request prices because of inflation. I should do that, Devin. You're absolutely right. Like, at this rate, <laughs> if people are bulk requesting champions... <laughs> oh, man. Okay, ew, it's Sati. That's annoying. We do have some pockets, thankfully. I'm wondering if I should play over the moon for the extra Welcome damage to bonus. Our timeline, Might not be worth it. I don't know. No Kana, thankfully. Also, yo, huge raid from FPS Snoopy Party of 54. Welcome to the stream. We're doing champion requests today, except we have a ridiculously long queue because two people bulk requested champions with some pretty beefy donations. So, we're going to play a bunch of Eevee right now. Which, yeah, it's pretty good. Stick around for it. Hey. Alright, uh, let's do, 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 do. Do I want Snow Globe or Over the Moon? That's the thing. Over the Moon would be more consistent versus the tanks. I think I'll just let Sati tank bust, though. It's probably more consistent for me to Snow Globe the Sati, especially because Window of Opportunity exists, and I do not want to fly into the air. So we'll do that. Uh, probably want my health reset build. Yeah, for extra health, just be a bit beefier. We can combo it with the beef from the pockets, and that should be pretty good. Although, Corvus is going stunning, so... I guess I'm only really having a Geno's pocket. Maybe it's slightly getting marked a little bit by Corvus. Which also leads me to the next thing. We should probably buy some Rejuve this game. We'll do Morale Rejuve for all the pockets. And let's go. Yo, thank you for the 100 bits. Can you play some max knockback ROM whenever you got the chance? Sure, I'll get to that in two hours, Savage Blades. <laughs> You're gonna have to give me a little bit, alright? Oop, in comes ROM. Dodge that real quick. There's 850 into Buck. There are a lot of them pushing up this side, though. Uh, this is where not having an off tank really hurts us. I'm gonna take advantage of ROM being vulnerable here. And I have my ult, so we'll just slam down on Ayo. She's playing Sacrifice? As a solo support, really, that's crazy. And he's got pockets. Alright, I need to go. I'm running away. Ah! No, I missed. Alright. Let me pop up here, then. I'm trying to hit that buck. Oh man, the bulk up. That's so annoying. Get baited. Ah, uh, crap, he's got the R. Run! No! Oh, man. Ah, uh, that bulk up is going to be so annoying. We really need to wait for Cauterize, I think. Which sucks, because we're also a team that heavily depends on and winning before Cauterize ramps game, up. Play some horse. Bruh. The requests are never ending. Oh, my gosh. I actually need to go raise the prices, like, after this game. I gotta start doing it just because we're gonna be here for, like, literally the rest of the day if I don't. Uh. Oh man, he's low, but he got away. He'll be full health when I come around, so... We just throw this so we can't run. Make sure we lock down that kill. And we might actually cap here, despite the rather spooky start. Whoa, I just got one tapped. Okay, goodbye. For the horse game, play the most horse, non-horse, horse mount champ. The most non-horse horse. Gotcha. 250 bits or $2.50 should be one request. That's a big price increase. I might just do $2. Just double it. Inflation, you know? <laughs> I don't want to go too crazy with it. Alright, well, we know Buck's over here. He's got IO, though. So if he jumps in... Ooh, yeah, Atlas is there as well. want to play it a little bit carefully here. 
My KD isn't super good right now, but, I mean, how could it be versus that Team Grump right now? Bulk up Buck with an IO Pocket. IO is also sacrificed, so I can't even dive her. And they have two off tanks. Like... It's pretty crazy. Alright, we can lock this Buck down, hopefully. I'm banished. Do we have enough damage into him? How do we not have enough damage for this guy? Okay. There we go. Got him. Oh, I shouldn't have left. I This Atlas is really just sniping me all the time. I need some armor plating as well. Gonna have to build really defensively this game to survive. Yes, we love capitalism. Yes! <laughs> ah, sweet, sweet profit. Okay. We need some space out here. I can't dive yet. Rom went in. Looks like he backed out. Yeah, okay. Let me use him for ultimate charge. Good go. Alright, let's go in. This isn't a request. I just wanted to say you are not a snack. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. Ah. Ah! I don't know if I would agree, but I appreciate it. Ooh, hello. Oh, okay. You know what? I'm going up here. Let's go investigate the buck. 850. Alright, he's just using recovery. Could dive me here in a moment. Where's Luna? Oh, she was right there, and we just finished the kill. Alright, perfect. Get some ammo back. Oh man, he's just gonna live that, though. Pop back here. Atlas is on me. At least we're still pushing, though. That's good. Uh, I do not want to be in a room with Sati alone. Not like that, anyways. Mm. Weaslow. Lock the kill down. She's gone. Get off my Corvus! Good. Oh, I missed that. And the wall ate that one. That's so unlucky. The stinking wall. I'll just throw this down. What the heck? Help kill him. Don't like seeing Genos die like that, though, you know? Oh, yeah, and we lost touch. Okay. Well, we got pretty close to pushing considering we had one tank versus two. They have such a beefy comp, man. We're gonna do more armor plating. Mm. Inflation sucks. My Chipotle order is $17 now. Jeez. What are you ordering? The whole kitchen, Devin? <laughs> One burrito, $17. That'd be the worst. Oh, yeah, you're right, Questioner. I mean, three with the buck. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Look at this dude. 24% damage reduction, 20% damage reduction, 5 second cooldown reduction, 1400 healing, 300 extra health, buying armor plating. Ah, what do you do against that? Well, he can't kill you because he's completely inept in the damage department, so you just wait it out. <laughs> you wombo combo him. You focus him down. Okay, Rom's just going in. Oh, he's actually on Corvus. Wait a minute. Lock him down! Goodness, we need so much damage to kill him. He's got that DR. Ooh, you're very dead. That's also Sati over there. We're gonna just hard retreat here for a sec. That's okay. What's he gonna do with that, huh? <laughs> Silly ult. Used it way too early. Alright, he's going in with it. Lock down the buck. He does have unbound. Oh, my damage just does nothing. Ooh, hello. Gonna have to touch point soon. I'll throw the ult down. We've shots at the buck. There we go. We got him. I gotta leave, but we got overtime. Gotcha. There we go. I was back here. Hello. Ooh, I didn't dodge that successfully. My bad. Oh, goodbye. <laughs> He's really low. I wanted to get the ult on him. Doesn't really matter, though. He's just dead. Good. It kind of interrupted the jump. That was weird. Pause and reloading. Gosh, the amount of DR is insane. Kill Luna real quick. She doesn't have her sacrifice now. She's also 10 miles away. Okay. Not getting that. Ooh. 
Let me see. Hey, buddy. No way he lives that. No way he lives that. Bruh. Are you kidding me? He was so one. Al German Jeez. 5 donated $3. <sighs> I am addicted to Scorch Nando, so can you please? I will get to that in three hours. I promise. Goodness gracious, we have so many requests today. What is going on right now? I hear Buck. Hey, buddy. Shouldn't walk so loud. <laughs> is this Paladin's Renaissance? Haven't seen triple digit streams in a while. Uh, we've been hitting triple digits pretty consistently. I know Mutu and Unbe get triple digits like all the time. They're pretty huge ranked streamers. Goodbye. Eh, get pranked. Wow, that's a lot of people up there. Okay. I wish that was Buck right there. Crap. Let me fall back. Yeah, Buck's going in. Oh, he's one. Good job, Satsi. Leave some shots over there to Atlas. He probably knows I'm coming over here, right? Yeah, he does. That's okay. Hmm. Hello. Ooh, I missed that. Push that hit. He is super low. I'm just really struggling. Eevee's damage output. I'm also addicted. Not to actually that Mango, high. So play some Kasumi. What? Wait a minute. How does that work? Also, we push. What? How did that happen? Okay. Hey, good stuff. If I do a champ request, will you get to it this stream? I want to see you suffer. Honestly, I don't know. I would say hold off on the champ requests because, um, gosh, I need to have like a backlog on the stream. Aha! Rose Star nine 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 donated one dollar. When the super you know, fun, so we can drop thousands of subs in minutes. With this donation rate, you guys are making me seriously consider that. That would be pretty fun. <laughs> Nine, also, torture four, for playing Paladins three, that long, but you know, still pretty two, fun. One. Let's max out morale boost. That'll enhance my damage output. Deal with some of that armor plating. Aw, oh, unlucky. Mm, that would've been huge if it hit. Alright. Hello! Don't think I can't hear you. You and your loud footsteps. Hello. Oh, we got Void Grip. Wait, wait. Oh, the Void Grip and the Rezil. That's weird. Throw that down. We can kill him before the ult expires. Yes, there we go. Make sure he can't rewind, you know? Hold on. Rom, where are you going? Stop it. We're gonna win. No, 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 no. I don't have ult, but I think he's too slow. Yeah, there we go. GG's. Nice, we win. Okay, let me let me get a text source on the screen. Okay, the Q. All right, so we have four X Eevee, three. Wow, that's huge. Three <laughs> X Io. Uh, one X Ying. What else do we have? I need to scroll. Okay. Uh, right. 1x Eternal Azan. Then it was 1x Rom. 1x Horse. Uh, and then Scorch. And then. Kasumi. You can't even see it. It's so huge. <laughs> ah, there we go. I'll put that down in the bottom right corner here. This is the Q. Here, let me uh, add some text so people know what this is. Q. There we go. There's the Q. Jeez. <laughs> that is so many. So many. Alright, well, let's keep it going. 13 kills there on Eevee. We gotta do another match of Eevee. Let me also edit the uh, command to raise the prices for future donations, because we are 
ridiculously and abhorrently backlogged right now. Here we go. All right, we're going to set it to $2 or 200 bits. Raise the prices, because <laughs> if y'all are going to make me stream for like four or five hours today, I'm getting extra for it. <laughs> mm. Jeez. No, there weren't two Scorch Nandos, I don't think. Because, I mean, I can double check. We got a $3 dono for Scorch Nando. Savage Blade said, I'm also addicted to Scorch Nandos to play some Kasumi. That was the Kasumi request. I will double check. We got the horse. Rom. Eternal is on. Io, three games. Ying, five games of Eevee. Yeah, I got all of them. Non-horse for the horse request, too. Yeah, I know. That's a skin request. That's not part of the actual queue. Alright, second game of Eevee. Let's go. Here's the horse. <laughs> Choose my mount. The horse. Legendary character. I can't believe they introduced the champion riding another champion. That's crazy. Can you believe it? Alright. Uh, We'll do gold skin. The horse is not playable in normal siege. Normal casuals. But if you play a custom game, you can play the horse in Siege, Onslaught, whatever you want. Rose Star 999 donated $10. Yo, thank you. Here is a bonus. You can order <laughs> some food and react to your old content when you get hungry. Heck yeah. Oh yeah, didn't you want me to react to something the other day? I forget what it was. Yeah, I, I have actually done like two reaction videos to my old content, but that was like a year ago. A year or two ago, something like that. Do you have to do them in order? Yeah, I do them in order. Just to be fair. So that's why if you do a request right now, you're going to have to go through that entire queue you see on the bottom right of the screen. Jeez. Subathon is today, I guess. Unintentional subathon. <laughs> oh, man. My oldest video from the other day ago? Oh. I mean, I did react to my oldest video in a proper video. I don't remember what the video was called, but it is on the channel. If you do a bit of searching, you'll probably be able to find it. Hmm. Well, double tank again, but we've got double tank too. That's perfect. And they've got some difficult champions for me to hit. Drogo's Mave. I appreciate the challenge. I'm ready for it. Also, I'm going to bring Snow Globe to make it easy for me to hit them. Big brain. Everybody got their paychecks today or what? Yeah, I guess so. I guess so. I really miss Pistol Strix gameplay. Anyways, can we get some Shaolin action? <sighs> Alright, add it to the queue. Add it to the list, Helvian. That's an old reference for you. There we go. Shaolin. Just bump it up. Oh yeah, just react to Z1's content. Nah, I'm not gonna do that. I don't like reacting to other people's content if I don't have explicit permission to do that. You know? Which, yeah, I don't like other people doing that either. I'm not a huge fan of reaction content unless it's transformative. You know? Alright, let's go. Snow globe. Uh, do I need health build again? I probably need some form of sustain because... We only have a Saris healer, and she's going to be focusing two tanks. So we'll probably do health reset again, but this time I'll do morale life rip. For the extra self-sustain, rather than relying on someone else. We need to make the queue list a bit prettier. Uh, How do we do that? We're going to, like, Photoshop the queue onto, like, a nice little scroll. But then it wouldn't be very dynamic, would it? The entire screen is champ requests. I'm going to get a backlog that extends it all the way up to the top of the screen at that font size. Which, you know, maybe if I listed the champ requests out individually, instead of, you know, congregating them to 4x EV, then maybe we'd be able to do that right now. Or at least get close, right? Ooh, that shot hits. Perfect. Hitting that Fury a little bit. I don't want to go in super hard right now. We can help kill the Mave. Yeah, they were pretty grouped up up there. 
Alright, I'm going on Furia here. Because I think we can take her out. Oh, never mind. I need some Unbound in this game, I think. Wow, how does he have two of them? Oh, he's Unstable Fisher. Wow, that's rare. Okay. Well, I can try and fly around here. They're going to be on to me, though. Let me back up. Here we go. Get on this atlas. Ah, stop it. Yeah, I so need Rezil. Okay, his second Remind is down. We can kill him now. Got him. Good. Hey, buddy. Come down here. Wow, why am I missing all of those shots, dude? Okay, there we go. Finally finish him off. That was slightly embarrassing. Come on, man. Just die. Good. Take on this Furia. Boom. Stop! Atlas! Please! Sir! Okay, that's the second rewind down. There's 850. Dude, that got captured by the wall. Okay. I'm trying way too hard to get this Drogos right now. Let me back up. There we go, we're fine. Oh, Drogos diff, nice. Drogos with the triple? Does he get the quad? No, I take it. We're clobbering these guys. Maeve was a bot for a little bit. She did come back now, though, so that's good. Hopefully they stand a chance now. That'd be nice. Hello, Atlas. He's just going back in spawn. Okay. Ha! Oh, huge midair diff. Let's go. Oh, please stop it. I'm just barely not hitting these. Uh, I know I shouldn't be focusing Drogos like this, but I just can't help it. I gotta challenge myself. Okay, I'll stop. Ah, 850. Ooh, she does live that. For now. Okay, that's his rewind down. We can burn him now. He's so low. Nice. Oop. Mistakes were made. Crap, I took a lot of damage trying to engage that. Mostly from the Atlas, surprisingly. Okay, interesting. Let's get Unbound now. I'm just gonna max that out. Love the stream today? I mean, I always love the streams, but today is amazing. Oh, nice. This isn't looking good for the Shaolin game, Andrew. We'll get there. Uh, listen, Shaolin's projectiles are faster. It's a lot easier to hit Drogas out of the sky with them. With Eevee, it's a particular challenge, you know? Come back here. Okay, that's not looking good for the Shaolin game. Let me just chill for a sec. Hit one. Wow, she actually hit that. Okay, thank you for the heal. There we go, hit that. There we go, just drop him like a rock. That's what we gotta do. Ooh, get the Atlas. Good. There we go. We push it. Can we get another day of streams added to the schedule four days a week? Oh boy. That's a lot of streaming. See, the problem with that is, when I don't stream, it's not like I'm not doing anything. I still have stuff to do. You know? I have to make... I have to write scripts and work on other video things and... Well, <laughs> do taxes, because it's April. <laughs> and, you know, IRL things, too. But, I don't know. Maybe if the streaming is successful enough, it might be worth it to do that. This is work silly? Yeah, but work is also... Oh, yeah, let me go work on the BK script. Which, by the way, uh, progress update on the BK guide. I have finished the first draft of the guide. I gotta do revisions, but once the revisions are done, then we can get into the more advanced stages of the guide. Which is, uh, actually getting the footage, recording the narration, you know. All that good stuff. So, that's pretty good, I would say. Stop! Sir! Throwing that down. I'm banished. Okay. I'm just flying away. I don't like any of these individuals on the team. The enemy team. Ugh. Yeah, Fernando's dead. Oh, that's on Drogos. Okay. 
Whoa, where's she going? Aha! Rose Star 999 donated gotcha. $1. If you don't know what to react to while eating or what later, hmm. may I suggest Daily Dose? I know he specifically allows content creators to react to his stuff. I like how we just assume that I'm going to be eating on stream now. Uh, yeah, I know Daily Dose of Internet. Problem is, I've watched pretty much all of his recent videos, so there's not much to react to. <laughs> Unless I fake my reaction. That would be cringe. And also, yeah, I just, I don't want to turn my stream into that, you know? Hello! Oh, you're one. Yes, gotcha. Alright, Drogos. JK, let's not have a duel, because the enemies are after me. Gotcha. Oh, I'm dead to turn, though. I didn't get a heal. Caceres was dead. Right. No wonder I didn't get a heal. <laughs> Whoops. <clears throat> Asking too much of my support. She's literally dead, and I'm just... Need healing, need healing, spamming. What am I doing? Only fans. Ah, yes. How about I start a new genre? We'll just react to OnlyFans on Twitch. How does that sound? I mean, you guys have seen some of the stuff. Uh, the sus stuff that people can get away with on this platform. Why don't we just do that, you know? <laughs> there you go. No, I don't, I don't go to the gym. I should, but I don't. Where's Maeve going? Oh, there she is. Ah. Yeah, that'd be profitable. Yeah, yeah. It'd be profitable for about a day. And then I'd get banned. But... Eh, maybe be worth it. Ooh, hello. Okay, we're gonna leave. Wow, what are these snipes? My sword isn't fast enough. That's what happens when you don't run sword speed card. People actually can track you. We'll do life up two. This is not looking good for our defense. We really need to group up. Why are you saying despair? What's wrong with Snow Globe Stealthy? What does this even mean? Why are you donating? You're not asking for another game of Eevee, are you? Ah. But you can't be, because I raised my prices, so... Okay. No, I'm just missing. Okay, there's one. Oh, there we go. That's what I'm talking about right there. We hit these. You just you still die. Yeah, good. Too much burst. I need to get armor plating. That's my final thing. Why would a beautiful man like you get banned from OnlyFans? No, 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 no. I'm talking about the reaction content. Reacting to OnlyFans on Twitch. That's what would get me banned. <laughs> what form of exercise do you do daily, Andrew? Um, I walk. No, not like walking, walking. Like, I walk from my chair to the kitchen to get food, and then I walk back. It's kind of sad. Sometimes I go for walks, but yeah. I've never been particularly good about that. Which is a problem, I fully admit. Okay. Uh, Yag's not looking super good. Does she actually get away? I think she does. Throw this down. Trap Maeve in place. There we go. Got her. Yuri is really low. Block that. Get me out of here! Oh, she's so low. Oh, no, 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 no. Shoot, 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 shoot. Oh, thank you, Drogos. Oh, my gosh. Ah. Saw your BK short yesterday. The rollout was sick, but I don't understand how you're able to get another poppy after backdraft was used. Well, I only had three poppies. So I poppied once, poppied twice, hit the backdraft proc with Chronos 3. That gave me my third poppy. Then I used my third poppy. And then I sticky boosted, right? Like some some of those bombs you saw me throw were sticky bombs, not poppy bombs. I detonate them on myself for the self damage, and that propels me through the air a little bit faster. We can go jogging sometime. I live in your town. Just hit me up. Yes, I'm sure you live in my town. Yes. <laughs> Have you seen the infinite detonate BK bug? Where you can just hold right click and detonate infinitely without actually having any bombs out? Yeah, I noticed that actually while I was doing the rollouts. I never really noticed it before, I don't know why. But yeah, it is a bit goofy, isn't it? Rose Star 999 Ooh, donated one dollar. Wait so walking across the house to grab another plate of food doesn't count as exercise? Yeah, apparently not. 
I mean, I guess very limited exercise, you know? Uh, maybe that's why I have no maidens. Huh. Maybe I should fix that. Whoa, hello. Oh, he's so low. He's so low. Hello. Okay, block all that. That VR is intense. Okay. Try and look at Atlas. There we go, got him. Get this Mave out of our backline if we can. Block her down, block the shot. There we go. Oh, can't afford to miss those. No, I just keep missing. Okay. Let the life repeal me for now. Hit behind the siphon if we can. Oh, he got healed. Okay. Ooh, hello. Block that. There we go. Lock him down. There's the mave. Come here. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> Just a miss fest. Except he finally hits me. It's so much easier for Drogo to hit Eevee than it is for Eevee to hit Drogo's, man, I swear. Because I actually have to touch the ground. <sighs> Moving my mouse with my arm isn't exercising? <laughs> nah. That's exercising. That's why I'm jacked. Not actually jacked. Would be cool, though. Okay. I'll fly back here. Oop. Yeah, alright, good. He knows he can't go for me. Alright. Cool story, bro. Die. Gotcha. GG's. Aren't you afraid of health issues in the future? Yeah, but I'm still, you know, I'm only 22. <laughs> I have time to fix my workout routine, okay? Alright. 21 kills, heck yeah. Although sadly, I wasn't able to diff the Drogos as much as I would have liked. Let's go again and mark one of the Eevee games off the list of our massive queue. Massive queue. There we go. Jeez. How do you like my level 9 Atlas? Only like one hour of gameplay. You were pretty good for that. Hitting good shots. I was surprised to see Unstable Fisher, because usually people play the other two talents, you know? I have time. Me at 24 now. <laughs> you do have time, though. I mean, you know. Even though 24 is like, it feels like you're ancient. Nah, you got, you got plenty of time. You got your whole life out of you. Mm. Oh, what happened? I'm bald, has left the match lobby. You know, we should probably swap party anyways. It has been an hour, so... Yeah, how about we just do that? If you want to join, say a name in the chat. I will invite you. Here we go. Kitten08, Camille112. Got you. Oh, you're in a match and cannot be invited. Camille! What are you doing? Okay, there we go. <laughs> Phew! Savage 2. Wait a minute. Okay, never mind. Uh, MJ McDad. Weero. There we go. Perfect. I was in the shooting range? Ah, okay. Gotcha. Well, at least you're in the party this time. Let us play some more Eevee. My paladins crashed? Ooh, that's unlucky. Hate to see it. I turned 20 last Sunday and instantly woke up with back pain and pain in my knees. Oh no. <sighs> Getting old! Old man! Sage, no! Choose your champion. Hurry up. I turned 20 and started balding. That's pretty bad. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna look stupid no matter what. Uh, uh what's gonna we go this time? Switch up the skins. You know what? I never use this skin, so we'll bring it out. Rare Troublemaker Eevee skin. Well, split stun quarry, that's pretty good. We might, we we could probably do some over the moon, like, memeage, sore stuff. Could be fun. Is the type of map to do that? Might consider it. Yeah, okay, you have it worse, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's not actually that bad. Could be worse. Could be way worse. If it does get worse, though, I've always told myself, 
like I'm not going to go through that like half balding phase. You know where some men have like just like a patch up there or like back there or something like that, but they still have hair around the sides or whatever. I'm never doing that. Like once we get remotely close to that, I'm just taking the razor to it. It's gone. Goodbye. But today is not that day. <laughs> it was that day for the beard though. Needed a bit of a trim. My beard grows so fast. Like, <laughs> uh, it was, I, I, I let it go for like two weeks and it got like all frizzy and like, <laughs> it's crazy. Show us a pick with no beard. Uh, no, <laughs> no, it's terrible. I'm never shaving the beard. I'm never shaving it off. I like it short. Short is good enough for me. It just, My greatest yeah. power is maintaining perfect I saw a guy today with long hair like that, but he had a bald patch on top. Oh, yeah. That's a guy who can't let it go. <laughs> he grew it long because whatever little hair he has left, he wants to keep it. He wants it to be glorious. Aren't you down to two EV games? This is the third EV game, so after this I'll be down to two. My greatest power is maintaining shave for a subathon goal? See, that's the only time I would shave my beard. It's for money. <laughs> Uh, cause I'm a sellout. Alright, yeah, we'll do over the moon. Get some armor plating. Uh, I do have Corvus. Might be worth it to get rejuvenate, we'll see. Alright, let's go. Over the moon! Wow, that's everybody. They are not pushing around the side at all. Both tanks up there. I do not want to deal with that! Corv! Corv! Thank you, Corv. Oh my gosh. Phew! All right, we live. For now. Ooh, hitting those shots on seven. Not gonna be able to confirm the kill, though, because he's seven, and he just ran. Ran for the hills. I hear him somewhere. Oh, he's just back there, man. Seven players. They're so cringe. Ooh, all right, no rewind. We could get him. Yeah, he's super low. There you go. Good. There's a huge amount of damage. Luckily, Omen can't really do anything versus Eevee, and he's dead. There we go. Where's he going? Oh my gosh, he's just flying. He's just going up. How dare he? Ooh, hello. What is this bozo doing? I swear. Oi, I heard that. Yes, and I meant it, Questionator. I meant it. Every single word. Cringe. Oh, hey. There's the cringe master. Sorry, never been master. Oh, you know what? That's accurate. He plays seven. <laughs> Ooh, hello. Beefy damage. Still got you, though. Worth it. Alright. Uh, oh, there he is. Sir, please. Sir, please. Can you stop? Yeah, that went past and hit Omen. Okay, well, got him. He is so low. Good. Whoa. Okay. Bye-bye. Please heal me. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh my gosh. And we just push it through. Perfect. Ooh, he almost died. Pardon you, I have been GM. Well, this guy hasn't been Masters. So, yeah. <laughs> Unlucky him. Why are there so many Atlas players today? I don't know, but I respect it. Atlas is a very skillful character, so I'm happy to see people bringing him out. I'm going to stack up with Trigger Scent. It did get buffed for specifically weapon damage, which is good for Eevee. So, yeah, might as well try it. <clears throat> Drink some more coffee. There we go. Alright. I don't have ult, so if I do fly over the moon... And see four people up there again. I still need to dip. Actually, wait. Seven's going in. Hello. Block that. Take out the ruckus. Oh, never mind. They're both so low. We're just not going to have them. Not yet. Bam. 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 All right, I'm soaring in. Bam. Ha. Ah. He doesn't know that you can't fear someone in Ice Block? What are you doing? No wonder he's never been Master. 
Uh, I can't even be mad. That's literally what I should expect from this player. <laughs> okay. Hello. Oh, can you please not? Oh, there he is. Got you! 1k! Yes! Oh, 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 oh. Stop hitting me, please. Thank you. Oh my gosh. I didn't mean to fall there. I think we're okay, though. Omen's low. I don't know why he pushed that like that. Okay, buddy. Boom. Ah. Yeah, doing... 1,150 damage. That's not bad. Not bad at all. 956 with DR, though. Mm. I mean, that's still more than a base shot, so I guess I can't be super mad about it. Oh, he did get me. Okay. What am I doing? Kill the omen. I think he bought it out. Um. Ah, let me hit that. Oh, no. He's so low. Good. And Seven just completely overshot it. Nice. Well, GG's. There we go. EU servers are filled with hackers and ranked at a certain time, midnight. Do you get a lot of hackers in NA? There are some hackers in NA, but I feel like they are not super common. At least in my experience, I have played, what, like a dozen or so, slightly over a dozen matches so far this season. But yeah, I know it is an issue on EU ranked. Although at the same time, midnight's probably not a good time to play ranked, just period. But yeah. Okay, uh, well, let's queue again. <laughs> Cruise through these Eevee matches. There we go, we're down to two. Let's keep them coming. The on speed hackers. I haven't seen one of those in NA ranked, but I have seen the very rare cheaters, like, you know, Koga cheaters. Um, one time I ran into a ROM cheater, I don't remember if that was ranked or casual, though. Might have been ranked. Uh... Which, you know, it's very obvious when someone's a cheater because their aim is perfect, but their game sense and positioning is just god-awful. <laughs> and you can still run them over and beat them. Aim is not enough to survive in Paladins. You do need that game sense. I'm playing unranked with people who are level 40 and gold 1. Oof. Yeah, I've seen the, I've seen the dredge speed hackers, and those are just cringe. There are also the rare, like, dumb but reload speed hackers, which those are pretty scary, too. I just don't get how it doesn't get caught by the easy anti-cheat, because that's, like, very blatant. Yeah, the horse hero is an April Fool's joke, but it's a very well-executed April Fool's joke. So, yeah. <laughs> Low-key more fun than most of the champion releases in the past two years. Easy anti-cheat is trashy. I guess that's the answer. <laughs> it's just bad. I don't even know how you would change, like, the movement speed values of a character. Like, that just doesn't make sense to me. I understand aimbot. I don't understand how you can physically change numbers Select like that. Quickly. Okay, Primal Quartz. This should be a yeah, very fast yeah. match. Uh, Bewitching. Gotta go Bewitching at least once today. Beautiful skin. S-tier skin, honestly. I love it. Two snipers now, best strategy. Oh god, no. Oh god, ew, ew. No, don't do that. Are you trying to make us lose? No, don't do it. Uh, okay. You speed the game up client-side and it messes with stuff on server-side because easy anti-g doesn't detect it. I just, I don't get how that's possible in the game's code, you know? Ugh, it's goofy. Nimble 10k, yeah. Alright, we got the con. That's a good tank to have with Ray. Luckily, we didn't go for the double sniper strat. They're going for Torvald pocketed buck strats, though. Alright, we're going to need some Wrecker for sure. And 
This will be a bit of a doozy. Oh, it's Kana again. Okay. Uh, maybe we do wormhole stuff, actually. Because we could do, like, movement speed, health. Just be funny. I do have a very funny build for it. Might be worth it. Also, yo! Wait, this guy has already won 75 matches of ranked. You can't skin boost that skin. This guy's already won that much. How? Okay, everyone. The patch has you been out for like a week and a half. What do you mean? Okay, wormhole. Uh, yeah, it's this build. Speed, HP. So we have HP card, double speed, no reset, but that's okay because we go wormhole. Uh, I did click wormhole, right? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, armor plating. And we become tank. Now, Khan is playing crack shot, but because of my health card and armor plating, he's going to take three shots to kill me. I also take three shots to kill him, though. So, But I do have a faster fire rate. Right? Just have to skill diff. Oh. A week and a half is enough to win 75 games if you do nothing else. Yeah, this person must have no-lifed it. That can't have been good for their mental health, though. Let's be real here. That much ranked in such a short amount of time? I mean, geez. Might need a therapist. I know I would. Woo, okay. Can I get a heal? Thank you. Man, he's got that tour of pocket. Okay. Oh. That's very awkward. Two shots just to pop the bubble. I need some Wrecker here in a sec. Uh, she'll make it out of there alive. Block some of that. Ooh, someone's up here. Who's that? Oh, Torvald. Okay, you know what? It is not worth my time shooting these guys without one point of Wrecker, so let me just get that now. Thorvald's going for Guardian. We'll probably need Wrecker 2 at some point this match to one-shot the bubbles. How do you hit the hard shot? I miss the easy shot, Connor. What is this? <laughs> Misses me as soon as I leave spawn, but hits me when I blink? Seems very legit. Ooh, Buck's up there. And he's low. JK, he's got a Fernando shield. Goodbye. Oh my gosh. We're just struggling on damage. Okay, there's a kill. Very nice. Just gonna throw that down. What the heck. Would love a bit of a heal. I do have some. Oh yeah, we got the Yangult. Perfect. Ah, this buck is just shooting me. <laughs> being annoying. Alright, back up. Oh, there he is. I think he headshot me. Running away. Fernando's low. Ah. Just so hard to tell what's going on sometimes. Jeez. Alright, it's clobbered. I do not want to stay this close to Torvald. How did that still hit me? I teleported. Okay. Seems legit. Crap! Heal me! Heal me! Crap! Where am I going? Okay. Uh, more armor bleeding. This is surprisingly close. Considering they are basically unkillable. Boom. Dead. Wow, I'm 1 HP. Okay. Make up the heals. Ah, he jumped away. Alright. I was gonna ult him, but I'm glad I didn't. Ult him now. Got a Torv shield. The cripple is still there. There's just no way to kill him, though. He's actually immortal. Yikes. Block that. I just don't understand how I'm supposed to kill anything this match. With this much sustain. Ah, oh, run away. Strix up here? No? Where did Strix go? 
Oh, he's dead. Okay, well, that works. <laughs> Don't know how he died. Maybe he got con ulted. Hello. Dude, it doesn't help if I can't hit the shots either. Oh, Torval's low. Hold on. Oh my gosh. What? How am I blind again? I don't even know where the flashbang was. Oh, I'm so low. Thank you. Ha! Ah. I want to just jump on Tana, but I literally can't right now. Just back up. Get a heal. Okay. Where is he? I have no idea. I got silence. This Torvald needs to go. Come here. Never mind. I don't even know where he is. I found him. Okay. We're fine. It's a good thing he's crack shot. Otherwise, I might actually die. <laughs> Oh, the silence! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Please! Thank you. Jeez. Alright, I need Rezo as well. It's Torvald. Ah! I'm just running back to spawn. <laughs> okay. Unbound 3. Yes. This game is moving at a snail's pace. We are over halfway done in terms of the timer. Nobody's even close to 200 points. That is ridiculous. Whoa, where am I going? I should not have teleported back. Ooh. I'm still dead. Oh, boy. How did that hit me? I blinked away from it. Literally. Ah. Oh my gosh, no way that pulled me. Ooh, ooh, ooh. He's so low. I'm chasing that. He's actually... Never mind, he's full health. Oh, I'm in such a bad spot. Run. Hello. No, I blinked, but it doesn't matter. They're actually unkillable. Like, straight up. Seriously unkillable. Okay, good. Just con ult the Strix, because there's no other way we can kill him. Jeez, look at that. I just shoot him once, he gets a full Torvald pocket. Oh. <sighs> Stay away from me. Okay. Cool. Where's Strix? Oh, he's behind us. With Torvald, of course. With Torvald. Please stop. Ooh, I basically just flew into that. I don't know how I'm not dead. Ooh, I finally got a kill! Look at that! It can happen. My dreams can come true. There we go, Khan is dead. Okay, stay over there. But I blinked, it doesn't matter. Oh my gosh. Uh, why is this onslaught match so sweaty? I thought this was supposed to be a fast game. This is the opposite of fast. Oop, okay. I'm just going back into spawn. Ah, my entire team is dead. Let's just wait. Uh, I'll do veteran just to try and become tankier in any way I can. Ooh. Well, I do a lot of damage to that shield, thankfully. 
He gets the shield the moment I shoot him, dude. There's just no way to get... <laughs> no way to get permanent damage on this guy. Oh, but he was gonna shoot at me. I baited him out. They don't know I'm still here. Now's my chance. Die! Yes, worth it. I totally didn't need the ult, but it doesn't matter. I just want to confirm. A kill. Oh, he's got Dwarf Pocket. I'm out. I'm out. Goodbye. Yeah, 28 seconds left. There's no way we can win. They just have the most cancerous Onslaught match comp I've ever seen in my life, dude. Which is actually unkillable. What are you gonna do against it? I'm just gonna pad my stats. Try and stay alive. Any way I can. Not that it matters. Not that it matters. Oh, jeez. That is just such a toxic comp, dude. There's no counterplay. Okay. I mean, I don't know. I guess we would have had to pick different damage champions or something. That's the only thing I can think of, because they just straight up were immortal. I mean, look at that shielding. They had almost 400,000 shielding between them. We had full Wrecker 3 on our team, but it didn't matter. Look at their death count. Three deaths, two deaths, five, six, six. What the heck? Alright, well, that sucked. That wasn't fun at all. One more Eevee game left to play, and then we get to move on to other characters. Oh boy. <sighs> yeah, Khan's a bit dumb, says Fernando. Oh yes, we're the ones with the Toxic Comp. It's our team with the comp Toxic Comp. Right, right. Not these guys with Torvald, Fernando, Buck. Hmm, okay. We did have more healing than them, but it didn't really matter. Because they just... I mean, look at that. Look at those shielding numbers. That is just crazy. That is just absurd. Not to mention full armor plating, which I had to get armor plating as well. Because that's just what you have to do to survive in today's day and age. But armor plating really is just so bad for the game right now. It really makes the game so unhealthy with the time to kill. Especially, especially if you're playing a character like Strix or like Eevee, who only has weapon damage, and also whose weapon damage isn't particularly high. Eevee and Strix both do not do that much damage per second. They have big bursts per shot, but their average DPS? A bit on the medium to low end. And also, because they have a slow fire rate, when you rely on, you know, a slow fire rate high burst weapon, and then the enemies by armor plating, and veteran, to such a degree that, you know, they have effective hit pools in like the 3000s, right? It, it makes it so that you require multiple extra seconds to kill them. As opposed to someone who has damage over time in the sense of like, I don't know, Talus, for example. Or Talus will probably only need a few extra shots. It hurts him much less than it does Eevee or Strix. And so, like, for me in this match, I'm playing Eevee, right? I do 850 damage per shot. I have to play yeah, Wormhole here because it's pajamas. simply the best option for survival, right? If I played Over the Moon, I wouldn't even be able to live long enough to do damage. And so I do 850 damage per shot. And then I have to fight Strix, who has 21% damage reduction. Uh, what is that? 12% extra health on top of the health card. What, what did you have the health card at? I couldn't see. But that already makes it so I need, I, I think, it feels like th four shots, give or take. And then comes Torvald with a pocket, with his shield, right? And that takes an additional shot away from me and also forces me to invest into Wrecker. And then if he hides behind a Fernando shield, I'm screwed. <laughs> I'm, I'm just so screwed. Thank you for the tier one sub, though. I appreciate that very much. They should just bring back EV damage. I am way more amicable to damage buffs right now because armor plating is so strong. But the reality is armor plating should probably just be nerfed again. 
I think we could live in a world where armor plating scales at 6% and costs 300. What is my game doing right now, by the way? A lizard's tooth okay. and an orc's tail. But I, I think we could easily live in a world where we go back to more expensive armor plating and less scaling armor plating. High scaling items is good. Life up at 60%, that's great. Meditation scaling so high, that's great. But the TTK has just gone too far. Especially, we haven't even mentioned how strong healing is in the game right now. Pair that with a pocket, some sort of Corvus pocket, with Rejuvenate. Or pair it with just a disgusting heal dump healer like Ying. There's just no death. I mean, I should have died more that game, but... Yeah, we did have two supports. One of them being Ying. They need high-scaling items that are good in certain situations. Armor plating is always good. Yeah, that's the thing. It's literally always good. What is that comp, by the way? They're playing sumos. Okay. I guess I'll play over the moon. <laughs> But yeah, armor plating is always good, and it's absurdly strong compared to what Haven used to be, and it's cheaper. That's just not okay. Should I invest in Trigger Scent? I don't know how much we'll be able to snowball here. Actually, it probably is a better idea to go Wormhole. So we'll just go to the same build, and we'll get some... Oh, I don't know. How about armor plating Unbound? Because we're just playing the meta. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Gaming. Hello. I thought there was a horse up there for a second, because I saw the ray projectiles and was like, oh, horse. Right. <laughs> Gosh, I wish. All right, there we go. Got Atlas. Envelope should be down any second now. Yep. Which means ray is free for the taking. All right, I'm going to... Head back here, wait for a heal. Thank you. I missed that. <laughs> Whoops. That's okay. Let me see about just popping up here and doing some damage. And that's a wall. Okay. Oh no, Willow. Try and get in your face. There we go. Good. Ah, that's enveloped. Can't push that. At least when Ray has ridiculous levels of damage reduction, it's an ability that eventually expires. <laughs> uh, as annoying as Envelop is, it's not nearly as annoying as I'm playing. Ooh. Totally going in with an ult, and then teleporting away. Uh, I shouldn't have done that. We don't really have follow-up. Get the Terminus, but not before he kills Rom. What is she doing? Besides feeding ult charge to me. I don't know. A bit silly. Oh! <laughs> I almost got wormholed anyways by the Atlas. What are you doing all alone? No, stop it. Oh, she got the link on me. I didn't see her in time. Good. Alright. Let's go in. Oh, she was so low. Okay. Guess we're not doing anything with the <laughs> Furia ult. Woo! Oh, can I get a heal? Where's our healer at? Uh, thank you. <laughs> I appreciate it. Oh, hello. Yeah, you do not succeed. Oh my gosh! Battle shout! Into a, a ray envelope. Come here. Please die. Oh, stop that. Oh, he got our Furia. Okay. I don't think we push this yet. Let me heal up and just wait. Finish that. Ooh, Fernando, well, he's waiting it out. Yag dies. Oh, he might actually have this. I just need to get back and get that ray somehow. She's super low. I think she's just going to spawn to abuse, which is fine. As long as we just keep the pressure on, we should be able to kill the rest of them. Whoa! Rom! Jeez! No, Terminus got in the way. No, I'm so sorry, Fernando. She literally body blocked it. Or he literally body blocked it. 
They're not trying to defend this with Tremolt, so I guess that's just GG for them. Heck yeah. Or should be in customs, at least. It is in customs, I7. That's how I, uh, that's how I did today's video, was in customs. That's how we're going to play horse later. Let me steal your Leon build, hello. I don't know if my Leon builds are any good. I have updated them, but I just don't know if that's what other people are normally playing with Leon. So, but take them at your own risk. Yeah, the ROM card does feel pretty good. I don't think it's a particularly serious card. Because you do have to sacrifice another level 5 card, and I feel like damage reduction and health and stuff like that is more important. But it is very fun. I like that it's at least usable now, you know? Okay, I have ult. We could try and go in. Uh, don't dismount me. Throw that down. There we go. Fireball finishes. Absolutely huge. Drop their support, and now we can just have a free game right now. As long as we're actually capping, am I going to have to cap this? I guess so. What is she doing? Well, I have a Fury ult. So I think you just die. Well, bam. There we go. Popped. Uh, she's super low. Dead. Good. I have to go cap again. <laughs> ah. Die. There we go. Alright. Perfect. Just Let's just keep zoning. Okay. Bye. Ooh, she just automatically dismounted herself. Alright, I appreciate that. Good. She might be back up here? Yeah, there she is. Wow, she is super slow. <laughs> okay. Dodge. Hello. Let me cleanse your link real quick. That's okay, I have another one of these. Wow, you got healed, though. You got healed because your Yag came around and you got the bounces. Oh, man, that sucks. Ray is just too strong when she ults to win in a 1v1. Need more armor plating. There we go. And we'll get a point of life rip. Be there forever in customs? Oh, yeah, that would be great. Why does my Rave Mave skin use the default voice lines? You probably selected the champion voice pack instead of the skin voice pack. Which, that's an option. When you are uh, selecting the champion in an actual match. You can't change it outside of the match, like in the menus. But you basically just set it, you know, when you select the champion the first time. Holy crap, I'm just going to lose these 1v1s here. Okay. I almost lost that, but we're good. I did not mean to squeeze my mouse like that. But, you know, we got the kill, so it was worth it. Whee! No, right. Ah, uh, that's annoying. That's so annoying. Hello. I'll just keep blasting at her, honestly. It's just so much for ult charge, right? There we go, gotcha. You should die here in a sec. Saw that one coming. <laughs> there we go. Who's behind us? I think I hear Khan. Oh yeah, there he is. Solo ulted. There we go. Dead. Finish him off. Okay. This is just looking like a 4-0. They don't really have enough damage to make this sumo comp work, honestly. Oop. Alright, nice. They just have that. Where is she going? She's so fast. Alright, good. He misread it. No. Alright. Let's finish this off once and for all. Take out the Atlas. If we can. Ooh, raise one. Good stuff. Huge beam. Uh, she might get away with this. No, she doesn't. And we push. GG's. Alright, guys. We finally did it. We finally completed all the Eevee matches. Now we only have... Three matches of Aya, one match of Ying, one match of Eternal is on, one match of Rom, one match of Horus, one match of Scorch, one match of Kasumi, one match of Shaolin left. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what the heck, man? We're getting it done. We're getting there. All right. Uh, let me get the Obsidian mount.
There is it. There it is. And we need the Punk Duck announcer as well. There it is. All right. Let's go again. And let's... Uh, I think we actually had to do the Ying request first. So we'll probably do that. If I remember the order correctly. And then we'll do the IO stuff. And I also have to play... If I recall correctly, let me scroll down real quick. Mm. Oh, where is the request? There it is. Okay, when you do the Ying request, please use the skin you find most attractive. Not saying chat will judge you, but... Chat will judge me. <laughs> oh, you have a build as well. Oh, oh, crap. Okay, let me take that real quick. Uh, which build is it? Let me scroll down. Uh, focusing lens Ying, right. Focusing lens in particular. Okay. Let's replace this. There's that. Get Yinged, Boring Healer, Illusion Bomb, all sevens. Okay, so which one is it? Get Yinged. Okay, this one. So, Disappear level 1 filler. Yeah, I thought people might give that a try. Max health level 5, encouragement level 4 for cooldowns, ephemeral for reload speed, and then a little bit of extra healing after shattering. Okay. Interesting. We will try it out. Alright. Go! No, I am not. Please do not make me solo heal. I will... You just won't get healed. You, you just won't get healed if you force me to solo heal. Simple as that. Alright. Time for the most attractive skin. So... This is the second most attractive skin, Goth Mommy Ying. I think we can all agree. Pretty good. Uh, but then the first most attractive is uh, this one. This is what I will choose for my skin today. Carnival Ying. I like it. Simple as that. <laughs> I might lose level 69. Oh, that's true. Darn it. Ah, I have to keep the 69 Ying. It's perfect. We're just going to have to lose this game, right? So we don't get that much XP, big brain? Yeah? Based fair choice, based Andrew? Yeah. I don't think I, I I didn't expect chat to judge me too hard on this. <laughs> I'm not some weirdo who uh, thinks Death Speaker is attractive or something like that. Or genie. Ooh. <laughs> How do I look? Yeah, someone said street style, that's just not my particular flavor of ying that I enjoy. That's a weird way to... That's a weird metaphor. Let's not use that metaphor. A little bit too sus. Uh, ooh, they have three tanks. Oh, that makes this so much easier for me, because I don't have to stress as much about hitting shots. <laughs> Goth mommy better? I totally understand that, and I respect your opinion. However, Carnival's pretty cool. Alright, Focusing Lens, Rose Star's build. Uh, well, we probably need to get some Racker. We don't have too many good Rackers, so I will participate. Actually, it might be better for me to do morale. Oh, I'll, I'll do morale boost first, actually. Ah! <laughs> Here, I have an illusion. Does that help you out? That helps me out. Ooh, heck yeah. There you go. I'll just uh, let this play while we sip my coffee. You're welcome. Mm. You'll want some nimble? She's meant to be a flank? Okay, I'll pick up some nimble. Here we go. <laughs> Alright, let's go. I'm ready. I'm ready. Focusing lens time. Calm down, chat. Calm down. It's just a skin. It's just it's it's just some pixels on a screen. She's not real, okay? Sadly. Uh, might be trying to grab someone off the map there. If he's feeling a bit silly. I don't know how silly he intends on being. Ooh, that's a hook. Hello. Alright. Um, oh, there's not the illusion replacement card in this, uh, build for teleporting. Right, I have to keep that in mind. Oh, please stop. He's Colombian, mate. I wonder what, uh, nationality this skin is meant to be, because she is Latin, right? But is she, like, Mexican, Colombian, Venezuelan, Argentinian? I have to wonder. Maybe you can identify by the accent, but I'm not good enough at identifying accents to tell. Oop, well, I got my ult. Do we use it? Nah, I don't think we have this. 
I'm running away. Goodbye. There we go. Brazil? Oh, Brazil? Brazilian skin, so easy to recognize. See, I'm terrible at recognizing accent accents, okay, Erlemeyer? <laughs> I'm just bad. Hmm. Hello, Victor. Goodbye, Victor. Hello again. Wow, you are basically immortal. Okay. <laughs> Diffed. Alright. Well, the rest of us will enjoy this game, ult. Um, I will fall back, and if he drops nuke on my head, we'll teleport, but I think we're fine. Alright, let me pop up here. Oh, nope, so dead. Okay. I treat the illusions as lock-on grenades with this build. Oh, am I supposed to be shattering? Okay. Are you pretending to not see my messages? I literally don't see any messages. Okay. Here, have a grenade. Wow, that did a lot. I just don't like shattering because the AI is so bad. Here, I'll shatter again. Eh, I just fed the siphon that time, didn't I? There's some damage into Khan. Ideally, we don't get hooked here. That is a very weird name on the Makoa. Ah. Oh, I teleported right into a bomb. We are just getting clobbered. We are not able to put up enough resistance. We have a solo tank, Rom. We have Geno's heals. I'm playing Focusing Lens. Oh, boy. This is just a massive diff. That is not Brazilian accent, but I can understand it being confusing. She says C instead of Sim. Wait. Wait, what? Wait, then what part of her is Brazilian? Capture point spawning in 15 seconds. I'm so confused. I don't I don't understand. <laughs> uh. Five, four, if you lay down illusions, shatter, and run in firing, your cooldowns will be more in line. Oh. Assuming I can actually get a kill. You you have to bear in mind they have Ying heals and they have three tanks, so. And Khan's gonna be looking for an ult here. You know what? Detonate. It's just so pointless. Alright, here, take that. Alright, nice. He is so low. I'm ulting. We're going in. Ah, uh, he's got the heals. Spamming TP! I spammed it so fast I still didn't TP back. That's so sad. Ying is supposed to be one of the best champions to counter Connell, but not when he's right on the edge like that. Alright, Max Nimble. Hmm. The skin, that's it? That's the only Brazilian aspect? Wait, so she's like... Spanish? Latin? But she's doing Brazilian stuff? I wonder why they do it like that. Huh. Okay. Oop, Turtle's over here. And his hook is down. And Victor's over here. What, did he crash? Yeah, okay. He's just being silly. Silly, goofy goober. It really sucks that Focusing Lens doesn't proc on shields, by the way. I suppose it's, uh... uh <laughs> it would be amiss of me not to point that out, since I am playing Focusing Lens, because I have to bring it up every time I do. Focusing Lens, Precision, Blast Flower, etc., all these damage bonuses should proc on shields. There's no reason they shouldn't. It makes them worse for absolutely no reason. Oh man, he's so low. We're just not going to finish that. Alright, I'm TPing. What? Okay. Don't know why I didn't TP me, up the, TP me up there the first time, but you do you, game. Uh, I'll throw that back there. Just to heal a little bit. Doing some good damage. Oh, hello. Alright, I'll just pop this. Oh, my, he's dead. Yikes. This is looking like a 4-0 stomp. I just don't think we have it. I'm trying to do as much damage as I can. I think he's got ult. Doesn't matter, they just push. They just push. She's a Latina at a carnival. I guess. <laughs> These are confusing times. Alright, well, GG's. I got two kills. I got 41,000 damage, but we did not have... A good team comp at all. <laughs> Just straight up.
So, yeah, they absolutely clobber us there. Uh, now we have to play Io. Woo, it's a good thing we have Team Deathmatch. <laughs> Yay! Uh, we got a mount request for the Onyx Stallion. Well, that was a short-lived Obsidian mount. Onyx Stallion, where are you? There you are. Gotcha. Which champion do you think is the most balanced? That's pretty much impossible to say. Especially because if a champion is balanced, then they're pretty bad versus champions that are good. Because that's just the nature of things being good. But I suppose some of the balanced champions in this game would be like Tiberius, uh, Maldamba. Uh, I mean, the tank class as a whole is pretty strong right now, but because of that, most of them are pretty balanced in between each other. With like very few outliers where like Khan and Torvald are just... Just straight up better than every other tank right now. Yeah, Maeve is pretty balanced as a flank. Shaolin. He is on a bit on the stronger end in terms of DPS characters, but yeah, he's pretty reasonable. Armor plating hurt him a lot. I think before the armor plating change, he was... I, I guess a little bit... Imbalanced in the sense that he was, you know, strong. Ash, yeah, maybe Ash. I mean, a lot of tanks, really. Again, like I said, it's just those few outliers, like Khan, Torvald, Fernando right now. Should Tiberius have slow effect on ult dash like he has on throwing sword? That's an interesting idea. Might be a good idea to give the ult some extra utility. Because, yeah, the ult is pretty bad. But his kit... <laughs> Isn't necessarily bad. Like, you know, he's got pretty decent damage. Projectiles. Combat trance to buff up his damage. He's got the burst combo with Heavy Blade. It's not bad. It's just not great. Because a lot of champions will outpace him in one way or another. They'll do more damage. They'll have better mobility. Better defense. What have you. You know? Like, Shaolin does better burst. Bomb King. Better damage and better mobility. Although less reliable at range, so there's that keeping him back. Uh, Leon, just better damage right now. Willow, better mobility. And pretty good damage, too. Which champion requires the most mechanical skill? Maybe Eevee? Yeah, that's usually what people agree on as the most skillful. Eevee, Vatu are who I would say are the two most mechanically demanding. That's not to say other characters aren't demanding in a different capacity, though. Like, Atlas is extremely demanding, but it's more about game sense and ability usage rather than strictly mechanics. Mechanically, he's not super hard. There's still skill with, like, hitting skill shots on, uh, you know, rewinds and stuff like that. But he really requires, like, excellent positioning knowledge. He requires you to think in 4D because you have to remember where people are, where you're going to rewind them to. Where's the Leon nerfs? I... I mean... I don't think they're going to nerf Leon. Frankly, I don't think they need to either. That's my hot take for the day. I don't think they need to nerf Leon. I think they should make other damage champions stronger. Because as a whole, for a long time now, the damage class has been just straight up weaker than the flight class. Let's fight to with very few exceptions. Aha! You look at someone like, uh... Rostar999 donated $2. Strix. The queue is starting Cassie. to get short. Better add on I mean, Burn Monster Tyra. Oh my gosh, it's not even short! Okay, fine. But you look at a lot of these damage champions, and it's like... Yeah, most of them aren't super hot. Leon is the most banned champ in EU ranked. Everyone is tired of speed hacking Leon's. Okay, but speed hacking isn't a reason to nerf a character, because they're cheating. <laughs> That's like saying, oh, we have to nerf, uh, I don't know, Victor into the ground, because people hack on Victor and do, like, 2,000 damage per second, hitting only headshots. Five, four, three, yeah, it is kind of annoying to fight Leon, but, one. like... Now go. <laughs> Let the legend it, come back to life. Simply the buffs buffed her in a way that doesn't empower the auto aim. If anything, you can nerf her health by a little bit. I think that would be fair. Keep the damage, especially because armor plating is a thing. And it completely shuts down her entire kit. But I really don't think she needs much. I think if you buffed other damage champions up, you'd have more damage champions that are meta. 
Like, Leon is an exception right now as being strong, but as a whole, like, if Leon got nerfed, we'd go back to a damage class that's just pound for pound usually weaker than flanks in most departments, right? Like, how many DPS are mid right now? Let's see. Cassie, mid. Kinesa, Strix, objectively just trash. Betty LaBamba, mid. Uh, Willow just got buffed, she's actually pretty good now. Bomb King, okay, he's really good. Drogo's, he's only good when he's not hard countered. Uh, but I guess he is pretty good, so there's that. Iman, mid. Uh, Shaolin, you could argue, if you're not super good at him, mid. Uh, although he's still pretty good, so I, I, I don't think I'd classify him as mid, personally. Octavia, only good if you're on controller. Tyra, uh, right now, I mean, she's basically just a tank. Kind of past her prime on the hunting party days. I don't know. Vivian, mid. Victor, mid. <laughs> like... Ah! And then you look at the flank class. Okay, let's see. Vatu, busted. Eevee, busted. Koga, busted. Uh... Oh, hello, goodbye. Okay. Buck. Okay, situational, but pretty darn good. Ah! Talus, on controller? Okay, busted. Lex. Okay, yeah, he's worse than he used to be, yeah. Used to be busted, though. Caspian, okay, he's a bit bad. Moji's a bit bad. Sky, pretty decent this patch, though, I would say, after the buffs. Like, there is... I feel like flanks have a lot more potential to carry games and just absolutely pop off, right? And I suppose another reason why it is sort of good for Leon to be a bit strong is that flanks are so strong, and Leon has always been a good counter to flanks. Compared to other characters like Victor. That's part of why, like, obviously Torvald needs nerfs, but I don't want them to nerf Torvald super crazy in some departments, because in some ways he is an excellent counter to flanks. And especially, like, your average casual player really needs that. Because not everyone's going to be able to easily counter a flank with, I don't know, let's say Imani. Right? Oh, please! Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm just dead. Uh, we'll get some armor plating. Because I don't like letting the enemies have fun. Alright, there's some healing for you. I just realized they have Kana on the enemy team, and Questionator, and Infernal Drogos. What is with the triple stream snipe right now? Goodness gracious. And I am just dead. Okay. I would love it if I could actually play the game. That's alright with you guys. This bit of heals. Oh, come on, miss the ult. That sucks. Heal for you. I cannot heal Caspian. He's out of range. Oop, there we go. Got him. Got him. Got him. Oh, please live. Try and get the stun. Luna, go for it. Good. Just take him out. I'm sorry, Weiro. Oh, Khan missed the shout. Oops. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Heals. Not the cerebral terror mode. Okay. Yo, hey, thank you for the resub. I appreciate that. Two months now. You just doubled the amount of time you're subscribed to me. That is insane. <laughs> Look at that. Let me move Luna here. Keep everyone topped off. I really am just the ultimate heal bot. I mean, we are spamming these heals like there's no tomorrow. Move Luna real quick. We'll quickly top you off. Uh, back to you. Uh-oh. There we go. Got the heal beam on ya. Let me move Luna back here. Need to heal Wiro. Woo! Nice ult! That was good. That was really good. Makes up for the last one, eh? <laughs> ah, Caspian. Oop, okay. I hear Drogo's. Oh, she is targeting me with that. Okay. Uh, there you go. We are kind of catching up right now, as long as we can just stay alive. I think we'll be good. Uh, okay, it doesn't... Oh, nope, Drogo's is coming around that way. Okay. Sorry, Cassie, you were just walled off. Gotta deal with the Drogo's! Oh, she's back! I'm dead! Ah, we gotta shoot her! She's actually got a very free game right now, because we have no hit scans apart from Khan. 
And, like, Caspian and Vatu are not exactly good Drobo's counters. I'm healing something. I don't know what I'm healing. You know what? Out of here. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Whoops. Caspian. Oh, Seven's back. Seven's back here. Go, Luna. No! Ah, let's do Nimble. Let's get some veteran. I'm just going to become the tankiest healer you've ever seen. Best damage designs are the ones that can keep the flanks from being good. If they can't do that, they will be considered bad. In many ways, that's true. With a few exceptions. Like, I don't think Drogo's is necessarily an anti-flank. But he's still very good anyways. As long as you aren't against Androxus or Leon. But yeah, for the most part, that is true. And you'll also notice a lot of good damage characters tend to also have good mobility. With very few exceptions. Leon would be one of those right now. She's very good, but she's not exactly super mobile. But you look at a lot of other good damage characters. Okay, Willow's really good right now. And what just happened to Willow? She got a massive mobility buff. Ah! Bomb King, really good. Also has insane mobility. He's basically a flank. Uh, Drogo's, again, very good mobility. And you do have your exceptions, but for the most part, yeah, a lot of mobility as well. And like back in the day, some of the busted damage characters were like Cassie with exaction, rolling around like crazy. Before that nerf happened where you can't proc it on shields anymore, and all of a sudden it's so much more inconsistent, right? And they don't have to be as mobile as flanks. It's like a combination of having good damage and mobility! Really? Okay. Oh, I'm coming in. Here, take this. 1v1 Grok versus Io. Grok loses. Yes. Oh, Luna, come back here. We have to battle Drogos. Did you just try and kill Luna? What is wrong with you? Come back here. Come back here. Fight me fair. Fight me fair. You coward. Wow, imagine running away just because you're about to lose to Io of all characters. That's so cringe. Do you think Eevee was good in the open beta? Oh, that was... I can't possibly begin to tell you that. I got to experience the open beta 44 build of Eevee, yes, but not in a real match. And We are so far removed from that meta, I have no idea where her place was at the time. And certainly, some things have improved greatly on Eevee since then, like the cast speed of the ultimate, as well as the fact that she has faster projectiles now. Even though the damage is worse, having faster projectiles is huge. Also, something I didn't mention, but at the time in OB44, Eevee had uh, mid-air and accuracy. So you could blink Soar and potentially miss your shot, which, that was just really dumb. Adds unreliability to an otherwise skillful character that just doesn't need to be there. So in many aspects, she's better than that. But it was just, it's such a distant meta. Also, I was trash at the time, so I also don't even know what was meta, right? Even though Leon has one of the worst kit designs ever, she is good in this game because she keeps flanks from diving. Uh, is it fair to say she has one of the worst kit designs ever? I mean, combo-based, like, gameplay is pretty cool. I do appreciate that aspect about Leon tremendously. There aren't necessarily a lot of characters who have that, either. It's really just the auto-aim that's bad, honestly. Yeah, it's very fluid. I mean, I would say Leon is a better design than Betty, personally. I don't know. Well, we did 129,000 healing. <laughs> completely heal diffed them, but they completely damage diffed us. So, yeah, geez, the stream snipe is insane. And seven top kills. Honestly, that just proves that seven needs another nerf. I will speak to the devs immediately about nerfing seven again. Gonna have to bring his burst mode damage back down to 130. I think that's the only reasonable path forward here. Alright, uh, we are at the two-hour mark, so we're actually going to switch party. If you want to join, please say your name in the chat. I will invite you. Snugs the Great. Uh, <laughs> ah, and the stream snipers want to join now. Okay. Fine. 
Infernal Drogos, Kana. And let's do, 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 Delta Sapphire. Ba bam All right, two more games of IO. Yay. Uh, at some point, I'm gonna have to make Sacrifice IO. One of the, the one of the ten dollar redeems. <laughs> I feel so bad because like, you know, I am getting paid to do this, so I shouldn't complain too much. But I still just she's so boring to me, man. Like if I had to play Saris. I mean they're practically the same character. <laughs> I'll have you know I happened to QTDM at the wrong time to see if horse is magically enabled there. Infernal Drogos, I'm just I'm miffed that we had a fair 1v1. You killed Luna and then scampered away at 1 HP. That's like the most dishonorable duel ever. You didn't shoot me. You killed my dog and then you left. Before I could kill you. And there was nothing I could do about it. <laughs> Come on. What are you doing? <laughs> Job well done. No. No. That's terrible. Yeah, I gotta go John Wick now. I'll have you know you're not getting healed this match. <laughs> That's your punishment. Alright. Well. More Io. Dragon Arena this time. It's almost like we're playing horse. Ooh, speaking of, we do kind of get to play horse soon. Also, I forgot to update the queue. We need to take Yang out. Bye-bye. And we can set this to two matches of Io. There we go. It's okay, I don't get healed anyways. Ah, uh, yes, because you're worm jets. You're going to be so far away I can't heal you. Get sniped by my beautiful con ult, though never thought I'd make that. Yeah, that was a really good ult. Gotta give props for that. Ooh, Snug's taking Drogos away. It's fine, though. We got a turtle. Let's go. Turtle gaming. Oh, they've got a seven. At least Kana's playing seven. Kana should be able to diff whoever that is. Because if you remember from the seven tournament, Wiro beat Questionator, and then Kana beat Wiro, if I remember correctly. Right? Which doesn't necessarily mean Questionator beats Kana. It's not a rock, paper, scissors thing. It's more of a hierarchy. So, I have faith. I have faith in Kana. I believe he can do it. I'll give you a dollar to play horse next match? Bet. <laughs> then I'll have to play two horse games. We'll have to go to customs. Because you already know, I'm playing horse in a real game if I have the chance. Alright, lifelink. Uh... You know what, I'll give some speed this time. I'll switch it up. And Boy, we'll do armor plating. I'm playing one of each talent of Io, so we're doing life with right now. Girls are watching. Bring. Hello. Here, have some heal. 81 heal. You're welcome. Alright, hit the stun. Nice. Stun locked. Sadly, not able to finish the kill, but we did absolutely brutalize him there. Nice. There you go. Ooh, good stuff. Okay. Quick little heal. Let me heal Kana. Oh my gosh, don't die. I got you. Reload. There you go. Keeping you alive. I suppose it is decently satisfying to watch their health pool go up. I also just realized I'm playing the wrong skin. I gotta play Corrupted Io next match. I gotta get at least one match of that skin in. If I'm playing three matches of Io, it's the best Io skin. Uh, there you go. Had to refill. Snugs! No! Okay. Well, that sucks. Vati's going for the ult. He's got it. We need to be careful. Oh no! Luna body block. No. Alright. I'd rather fight 7 than Eevee, at least I can hit 7 on, like, Eevee. That's a massive skill issue. <laughs> Not gonna lie. I'm just gonna start saying that everyone, every time someone complains about hitting Eevee. Like, yeah, you can't track Eevee during Soar. That's the point. You shoot her after the Soar. The rest of the time, it's just like, oh. Just flick. Flick, bozo. 
Meanwhile, Seven can literally run faster than projectiles in this game. Evie can't even do that. Like, Seven is quite literally faster than, like, half the projectiles in this game. Meaning it is physically impossible to hit him. I can't hit either Eevee nor Seven normally. Ah, base. <laughs> yes. You not being able to hit me on Seven is a skill issue as well. Now, actually, now that I think about it. Depends on the character. Because, like, literally... Uh, with Eevee projectiles, if you grapple, it's impossible to hit that. You're literally too fast. Like, actually just straight up. <laughs> I, I I don't know if it's possible without, like, aimbot. Or 10,000 IQ predictions. Hello. Huge stun. I think Luna actually body blocked one of those arrows, which is very weird. But we do leave that. Let me get some armor plating. Nimble. I requested an IO skin. Oh, you did. Oh, pirate IO. Oh. Man, not gonna lie, it's my own fault. I didn't play Corrupted now because this is the second match in a row I've played this skin when I had the option to choose a different one. Ow. I will not be stopped. Aiming in Paladins is easy. It really depends on who you're aiming against. Because, yeah, you're right. Except for some of the hypermobility that does exist. Like a skilled Vatu dashing around. That is pretty difficult to track. Like, don't... You know. Don't discount that just because, oh yeah, Vatu might have a larger hitbox than Tracer. Oops, there we go. Uh, that's bad. Ah! Ah! Run away. Okay, we're fine. Oh, we're not fine. 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 No! I know you need healing. I'm sorry. Oh, that was seven. I was like, what the heck? Why did the default voice play? Okay, there you go. We are winning, thankfully, but they could still bring this back around. Leon is the hardest because she is slim, I think. <laughs> I mean, yeah, she is pretty skinny. For a second, I thought you were saying Leon is the hardest to aim with, and I was like, hmm, wait a minute, buddy. <laughs> Time out. Hold on. That's like saying it's hard to aim with Io when you're healing. To her credit, her actual, like, regular primary shots are some of the smallest hitboxes in the game to hit. Oh, please. But also, like, <laughs> in Paladins, it really isn't any harder to aim now than it is in Overwatch, because Overwatch has the larger hitboxes now, too, right? The only reason it's hard to aim in Overwatch is because... Ah, uh, Okay, I don't know how that didn't hit. The only reason it's hard to aim there is because the strafing is still absolutely manic. Oh, and they have brought it back around. We're losing now. Hold on. Wait a minute. No. I couldn't heal you because I was feared. Oh, please. Huge hook. Huge. Every death is so old, says Kana. I believe it. Whew, Cauterize is biting deep right now. 80% already. Okay. Let me throw that down. Oh, goodbye. <laughs> Adios, amigo. Oop, seven's over there. There is an ult in the center. Okay, Drogo's got it. Excellent. Keep the area heals going over there for now. I am lifelink, which means when I heal my teammates with Moonlight, I do also heal Luna. So I can afford to be a bit more aggressive with her, I think. Steal that kill real quick. Oh, Vato's behind me, though. Alright, max out armor plating, get veteran. There we go, finish that kill. I am just the, uh, I'm the janitor right now. I'm cleaning up all the kills. There we go, I'll move Luna over here. I'm trying to heal Infernal Drogo, she's just taking so much damage. There we go. Got you. Your light Oop. Nice wall. Ooh, we are struggling. Running out of moonlight. Ugh. Don't have as much moonlight in this build as I do my last build. So, that's partially why. But also, these guys are just taking so much damage. Nice. Oop, there's a Zon. Got him. This is a really close game. This could go any, any direction right now. 
Ooh. I'll move Luna over here because the team is grouped up over here. Ooh. Alright, heals. Come on, stay alive, stay alive, stay alive. Good wall. We heal you. Oh, it's about to be a fat seven ult. There we go, got Vatu. Good kills. Hwa! I wanted to throw him off the map, but I just don't have the angle. It is what it is. Did that hit somebody? It did, but I didn't get a kill. Okay, fair enough. I wish I could help these guys. They're very far away right now, and I hear seven. Oh, let's go to stun. He's faster than my shots! Good. Heals. And that's GG. Good stuff. Ah. Seven overcharged is mid, in my opinion. Depends on the team comp. Yeah, it does heavily depend on the team comp. And the map, too, because some maps you don't need to pull as much. But, like, if you can pull someone off the high ground of Split Stone, for example, I think that is pretty valuable. Okay, hey, I actually got five kills. I participated. <laughs> Cleanup squad. 84,000 healing. They had more combined healing, but they had three healers, so it makes sense. Uh, and we got to go to Siege for the sacrifice match. I'm going to play some damage IO here. So, let me let the team know. Damage IO. So that way they can actually prepare to get a healer. Aha! Do you use grapples for Inferno damage? Inferno donated one Based dollar. Gone? One single dollar. All for horse. Heck yeah. Also, by the way, Inferno, you get a discount. Because I raised my prices to two dollars because of the massive queue that we have. So, <laughs> but it's worth it to play the horse, I think. The horse is pretty cool. Let me actually update the queue again. Mark that we have two horses. Doubled the amount of horses. That is so cool. So, so cool. Hmm. The seven mains are angry at Kana. Oh no. <laughs> The reason I say Eevee is the hardest flank to track is because I'm on controller. That does make it a lot more difficult. But you can still track her as long as you understand how she works. I did make a full video explaining how to counter Eevee. I really should point more people to it. Because there is a bunch you can do. She is not overpowered. And I want to do my best to provide resources so people actually understand how to counter this character. I almost care about that more than teaching people how to play her, because I don't want her to get nerfed, because she doesn't deserve a nerf. Especially in the armor plating meta, she can't kill anything. So, yeah. Like, when it comes to the sore, yeah, it's very, it's basically impossible to track her if she does it properly. That's where you just, you, you don't track her during the sore. She can't hurt you when she's soaring. It's not like she can shoot. It's not like it's seven where he can grapple away and still shoot you. So you can spend that time to reload, to reposition, to heal up, do whatever you need, and then shoot her after the sore ends. And if she's doing the combo where she does the blink, shoot, blink, sore, blink, or uh, shoot or whatever, right? You still don't even necessarily need to have the best tracking. You can still try and hit those flick shots where you can. But if you stay grouped up with your team, if you buy armor plating, if you get healed by your healer, right? Make sure that you're responsibly positioning yourself. You can still survive that. And uh, also, if you're grouped up with your team, you have more of a chance to hit her. And then also, that's not even to mention, the characters that counter her. You talk about flicking shots, which on controller is not possible unless your sensitivity is maxed. Yeah, and that does make it harder when you're playing someone like Talus as well, because, you know, there's also just straight up not flick shots on a character with damage over time like that. But again, you have characters like Torvald and Shaolin and stuff. Or Leon now. Leon's meta and, you know, she has auto-aim. And yes, yeah, CC as well. CC is huge. Io. Gonna remind these guys I'm damage. I'm damage. You're not getting healed if you don't pick a healer. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, and the pirate skin. So yes, there are many, many ways. Many, 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 many ways to deal with Eevee. 
And good EVs are, are also pretty rare in the first place. Because nobody has a problem with bad EVs. <laughs> bad EVs are easy to deal with. Bad EVs... <laughs> those are easier to deal with than, like, a mediocre Zin. So, that's never anyone's concern. That's why to me, tracking Seven or Vatu is easier, because they move slower than Eevee in short distance. They do move pretty linearly. But again, so does Eevee apart from the Soar. The Soar is really the only non-linear movement, because the Blink is a linear direction. And Vatu has the same vertical mobility in the sense that both of them have a quick burst in whatever direction they want. Welcome to the Lunar Pirates, Bildrat! Okay, sacrifice! 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 Kill the dog! Kill the dog! Wait. No. Why would we- why- what? Why does this talent exist? Uh, anyways. Um, what should I buy? <clears throat> Gonna need some Wrecker, most likely. But I think first and foremost, I need survivability. Because I am IO. <laughs> I don't exactly do much shield damage anyways. I will get some Wrecker at some point. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, Uber Spady's awesome. Uber Spady has a totally different play style to what I do, and he's a master at it. Alright, let's go. Go sacrifice yourself. Yeah, imagine. <laughs> imagine, sacrifice. Your dog stays alive after you die, and if your dog dies, you sacrifice your health to save the dog. <laughs> Brilliant. Hello! Io fight! Io fight! Io fight! Io fight! Ah, oh, get diffed. I'm the better Io. I am superior. Me and my sacrifice. All right. And now let's play it safe for a little bit and just heal. Spam damage into Fernando. There we go. Got him. Let me heal you real quick, Kana. Help with the Lex. All right. Perfect. And Infernal Drogos is popping off. All right. I'm gonna float my way over here. And we will flank them. I know it's risky, because I'm playing super aggressive right now, but that's okay. Also, I just realized Kana is also playing a support. Playing Binary Genos, as he's been doing recently. Okay, my sacrifice should be back up in case I die. But I think we're good. Oh, they don't touch. That was a very well-placed wall. Good job. Delta Sapphire clearly watched the Azon Guide. <laughs> oh, crap. Ah. Ooh, I thought that was an enemy for a second. It was just a Zon on fire. Looking all orange. <laughs> Looking hot. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Alright, good kill. Let's just beat this guy up. Yeah, good job, guys. Eevee to GM account? But just like Eevee single character to GM? Nah. I don't, I'm not interested in creating a secondary account or doing any silly challenges like that. Plus, my game where I reached GM last season was an Eevee game, so, uh... There, there's my Eevee to GM. Done and dusted. That's all I'm doing. You're welcome. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, I think I'm safe. I don't think she knows I'm here. Yeah, we're good. And now, she's not very good. Oh, but neither is Kana. Double stun! Ha! <laughs> Get pranked! Oop. Safety from a distance. Go, Drogos! Yeah! Good job. Okay. Uh, beat up Fernando, and that's a team wipe. Let's keep on pushing here. Why don't you use GM frame? Well, I don't have the Season 6 GM frame yet, because they haven't given them out yet. And that is the first legitimately earned GM frame I've ever gotten. And I say that because I also have the Season 3 GM frame, but that's because of a glitch. Because... Basically about halfway through Season 4, they took away my Season 3 Master's Border and gave me a Grandmaster Border, even though I was never Grandmaster. And for a while, if you go back to some of my videos at that time, as a matter of fact, I made a dedicated video about this glitch that just randomly happened to me. You can see I had the Master's Frame equipped, but it was locked. <laughs> so it was really weird. Hello. Okay, that's fine. Again, just have to play reasonably safe here. I'm um, shooting our own wall. There you go. 
Ooh, he is one. Azan gets that. Yes, perfect. We bless the Ayo. There we go. Huge. Betty's one. Nice. Finish that kill. Let me heal you. And we are looking really good here. Hey, LMAO. Memeing. I want to say memeing. It's not actually memeing. It should be memeing. He's absolutely memeing on the point, though, with that ult. I guess you don't give a crap about showing off your rank. I would use that. Well, it's illegitimately acquired, so I'm not showing off my rank if I use that master, that Grandmaster border. Because I wasn't a Grandmaster at the time, so it, it'd be lying. And I do show off my rank. I use my Season 2 Master's border. Especially because it's also the uh, the best Master's border I have. The rest of them are dookie. They suck. Ugh. Why can Betty throw her hail bombs across the map despite it weighing 100 pounds? I don't know. Three, Betty two, is able to throw the hail bombs one. farther than Knessa can throw her tiny little mine. It really doesn't make sense. Season 2 borders are still the best ones. Yeah, Season 2, Season 1. Those are top tier. Alright. Oh, we got Betty back here. That's not quite Io, but that's okay. I'm going to make a little home up here. This is where I shall live. And I shall do things and stuff. Whoa, careful. Oh, there's Io. I found her, finally. How did that get stuck on the wall? That was clearly shot past it. I don't understand. Io ult is so janky. They should really fix it if they get a chance. Okay, Zahn's just capping. I'm going to play aggressive here. Try and get them off their horses. Hello. Alright. Let's do some more damage. Betty's dead. That's good. Alright. And we get away with crime. I'm gonna back up now a little bit. There you go. I'll throw Luna right here. This is looking like a nice, quick 4-0 stomp, which is really good, because I'm already so bored of playing this character. Uh, nice. Get that Fernando. Ooh, good stuff. Infernal goes for the triple. Ooh, Kana rips it out of her hands. Okay, let's move Luna back there. I'm gonna go visit their spawn. Hi, Betty. Gotcha. Can I get Lex, too? Ah, oh, he's just gone. Okay, fair enough. There you go. Look at all this free push. We are just cruising it through right now. Uh-oh. Hey, you're okay. He can't hit shots. He's just gonna get right in his face. Yeah, no ults. Diff the IO. Diff the IO. Huh. Oop. Oop. Ah. Oh, okay. Fine. Fair enough. Hey, buddy. Go over there. <laughs> oh, he tried. Did that actually hit Fernando? I don't know. There we go. Gotcha. Popping off on the damage IO right now. There goes Makoa. Stun Fernando in place. Let's go. And we're about to have a flawless zero death game right here. Let me help Grover also not die. And that's GG. Perfect. Are the Steam charts broken? Player count looking worse than December 2022? It's not that bad. Last I checked. Unless things got absolutely awful in the past week. Uh, No, they're not as bad as December. Certainly not worse. They're getting pretty low. Certainly. And that's not good. But we're not quite to December yet. Uh, Yeah, 6,000 peaks, though. I mean, that's just not what you want to see when a new update arrives. Shoot, not even 6,000 on Saturday. Although I suppose maybe part of that was people visiting family on Easter. And stuff like that. But yeah, the average players is 4,300. That is pretty bad. But we're still better than November and December. But we are getting pretty low. Peak players are still at 8,000 though. So, I don't know. I hope they manage to uh, bring things back up a little bit. Hopefully next update will be a bit more exciting skin-wise. Because I know that tends to help build up a little bit more hype. You know? 
I thought it would get higher. Yeah, I thought this update would bring more players, considering they are doing a lot of stuff that's genuinely really good. Nerfing game assist, uh, trying to improve matchmaking, literally a new ranked season. I don't know. It's goofy. But also something, something we do always have to keep in mind, chat, when we're talking about player numbers for any game, is that the concurrent player count is not even remotely equivalent to the actual amount of unique players that log on in any given day or any given month and so and, and also steam charts are only one piece of the puzzle there's also consoles epic games stuff like that so yeah it, it is quite possible that there are a lot more unique players and to be honest that is more important in the sense of actually keeping the game alive and helping them make money keep the lights on that type of stuff because that means more people they can sell skins to than just 5,000. We should all start TikToks and YouTube accounts to promote Paladins? Heck yeah. I mean, I encourage anybody to, uh... Yeah, make Paladins content if they want. Make guides. Don't expect to do it as a career, but, you know, if you want to make a hobby, make some videos. That's great. We need more of that. Alright, It's Eternal is on gameplay. At least we're on Dawnforge, so that's kind of fitting. Let's get that out of the way. It's time for Tracer Nessa. You already got my meme build. Add it to the list, Helvian. Wait, I raised my prices. I forgot about that. I don't have to add it to the list, Helvian, until we get another 100 bits. <laughs> I forgot about that. Oh, we're saved. See, look. Just for this stream, because we already had, like, 15 bajillion requests. Yeah, we have inflation. We have real-life Paladins inflation right here. Ah, <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> there we go. Are you saved? All right. Add it to the list. Now there we go. Face me. Goodness. So many. Redeem shoes my skin, put a shirt on. Okay. Phew. Gold skin. Ah, oh, just in the nick of time. Jeez. And you tried scamming? Well, it's not a scam if I legitimately raise my prices and then you don't pay enough. That's, uh... With myself. That is how it works, right? Not hey, we get to test the buffed Flames of Wrath! Let's go! Heck yeah! Not a throw build anymore! Flames of Wrath OP! Uh, we definitely need Kronos. Oh my gosh, we need so much Kronos. What do they do to rank? Because I've been playing with silvers and golds and diamond too. Uh, they were supposed to tighten the allowed rank gap so that you get fewer of, or less of that happening. And to be honest, that is kind of odd if you've been getting that consistently because I have actually had pretty good matchmaking for most of my ranked matches. We'll play ranked again on Friday and yeah, I mean, I don't know. We'll see if the ranked matchmaking is still as good. Because it is, you know, more than a week after Ranked has come out now, though, so, yeah. I'm sure there's been a little bit of a drop in players. Bonk! Oops, alright, Grok is already dead. Well, I'm out of here, then. I'm dead, too. Okay. Ah, uh, they all just went left, and we did not, in fact, go left, except for me and Grok, so, uh, we kind of got diffed. As if that would stop me. Z1 was on the other team as well? Huh. Is this NA or EU? If it's EU, then that's really concerning, because EU has a massive ranked player base. EU is the largest ranked player base in the game. So if you're still getting golds and silvers regularly in a diamond game there, that's very concerning. Okay, we're going to need to touch point soon. I do have my walls back here in a moment, so let me just put those down. Try and stun Ying. Good. Thank you for following up on that kill. Uh, U7's one. He's so low back there. Snugs. Yes, you got it. Absolutely worth it. Even if you die, it's worth it to kill Seven. Because Seven smells like rotten, moldy milk. Milk doesn't rot, does it? I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying, but picture that smell in your mind. That's what he smells. That's what he smells like. Uh, I'm taking a nice little heat bath right here. Can I have a totem? Can I have a totem, Grok? Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I just gotta out heal this. I have to stand underneath it. I, uh, you know, I got a cap, right? Uh, oh, I'm dead. 
very unfortunate. Kana does get the seven, but it doesn't look like we have the pressure to cap this here. Uh. Can you stop hating on seven so they actually pay attention on ways to fix him? Questionator, I'm not... I am not holding up any seven progress, okay? Everyone knows I hate seven. It's practically a meme. I, 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 I am not... <laughs> Just like I'm not responsible for nerfing Seven, just like I'm not responsible for buffing Seven, I'm not responsible for them holding up any serious changes. <laughs> Don't fall for the lies they will tell you. Ugh. I persist. Okay. Here, take this. Oh, JK. Man, if only I did damage. It's seriously so bad to play Eternal in 2024, when the enemies nerf your damage by so much, and then you also nerf your damage. Hey, bruh. Why is this a thing? Whoa! Uh, JK. Can I pretty pretty please have another totem? Thank you. Appreciate it, Grok. Hoo-hoo! Hoo-hoo! I should get some Reju for the Grok. He is playing Totemic for me. Thankfully. Okay. You gotta worry about that con over there. I got an idea. Oh, okay, I just killed him with it. I was gonna throw him off the map and then ult back on, but uh, don't even need to do that, because he's just dead. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, ooh, that only hit the illusion. Okay, my bad. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Alright. Well. Ah! No, stop that. No, stop, stop, stop! Okay. Get some rejuve. If you think about it, they don't need to do a lot of changes to make him feel better on his three modes. If you think about it, having three modes is a terrible balancing decision, and it has never worked out for him because he's always had one mode be meta, and that's it. Most of the time it's burst mode meta, for a little bit it was automatic mode meta, and for a little bit it was mag dump meta. And you have basically no incentives to switch between them. You just stay in one place all the entire time and that's it. And I don't think they can ever change that, and I think he just shouldn't have three modes. Ugh. You know, if we want to talk about seriously fixing Seven, again, just go watch the manifesto. I'm tired of repeating myself, so just go watch the go watch the video. Go watch the video. Okay. It will take more than. Automatic doesn't fit his kit at all. Yeah. Like in my opinion, damage over time, automatic fire modes like that, they don't work on hyper mobile characters. Because hyper mobile mobile characters are all about weaving shots in between their abilities, right? It's about having a rhythm. Shoot, dash, shoot, blink, shoot, ice block, shoot, pounce, shoot, dash, shoot, teleport. Capture point spawning in and when you have automatic mode, you don't have that flow, and it makes them feel less fun to play. Yes, there are some people who enjoy it, but significantly more people enjoy burst mode, that much is clear. And I think, just in terms of game design as a whole, it's just better to have a burst fire like that. Oop, hello. Okay. I'm a zero dagger, Randy. Yo, he's missing every dagger. What a legend. <laughs> okay. Uh, put this here. We're going in! Grok Gaming! No! How dare they take my Grok from me? Uh. Yeah, sometimes I play Paladins off stream. Actually, I've been doing that more recently than not, because I've been playing with friends and eh, just been in a mood to play paladins, honestly. Enemy killing spree. Hello, friends. Do you like walls? Wow, why didn't that stun him? My dash is so impotent without tempering him. Without the card, don't like it. Oh, oh please! I need a totem. I need to tell him. If seven is bad but still relatively playable, they won't buff him ever. Good. <laughs> yes, exactly, Ozzy.
<sighs> I mean, I really just hate to repeat myself, but I just don't think he's good character design. Just straight up. His movement abilities break the speed limit of the game. His fire modes suck. And also, hit scan on a hypermobile character just doesn't really work. And the closest we've had to that previously is Androxus, and Androxus has always had his problems of being really annoying to play against. It's not like he's, you know, just this perfect paragon of game design. He is fun, yes, and, you know, the game would be worse off without him. But, yeah, he's, he's still, like, he's definitely not a super balanced character, and hasn't really been for most of his life. Compared to the likes of Maze. So... Yeah. Oh, wow, that's just too much damage. <laughs> okay, I'm glad that was a fast match. I don't want to play Eternal any longer than I have to. Get that out of here. Up next, we have to play Max Knockback Rom. Eevee's Blink is faster than 7 Hook, just only in short range. Exactly, and that's fine. What a break 7 is when his grapple sends him at Mach 10 literally across the map in one ability. And then he can do that twice, and can also roll mid-air. So that way you can't even really track the grapple, because as soon as you send the shot at him, he's going to roll out of the way. They could try removing automatic. Yeah, exactly. See, <clears throat> my suggestion in the 7 Manifesto was remove automatic mode. Mag dump is the right click, and that's basically treated as an ability that you only use when you're up close to somebody. And then burst mode is his regular primary fire, and you just balance it like the primary, right? It'd be so simple. Okay. Rom. Rom nom 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 nom. What happened to the queue? Oh, someone left. Oh, Infernal left. Okay. Uh, we do have a space in the party then for someone to join. Gotta get back to grinding horse to level 50. Infernal, you... Madwoman, what are you doing? <laughs> Why would you do that? You don't even get a golden horse. Okay, War Nix, 99. It's almost like we have a conversation about 7 every day. Actually, we haven't had that many conversations about 7 recently. Not as much as we used to. And yeah, I'm just, I'm just going to stop talking about him because... Everyone knows my opinion on 7, and everyone knows what I would do to fix 7, and if you don't, then I have an entire video about it. It's long, it's in-depth. I have reasons for every single change that I suggest. Just go watch it. One cannot ever beat Paladins or complete Paladins without getting all champions to level 50, and that includes Horus. <sighs> I, I mean, I can't even blame you, and I would do it if it wasn't only possible to level Horus in a limited time mode. If the Horus was available in regular Siege, I'd totally do it. I still have coffee. Good. Definitely gonna need coffee, because look at this backlog of games. Look at that. So, so many. We're gonna be here for at least... Probably another hour and a half. Okay. Uh, it's Dawnforge again. Oh, no. Alright. Let's just do it. Seven needs a buff to his ammo capacity because he shoots six rounds in bursts and only has 40 ammo. If you do the math, he has four ammo in his last clip. That's true. That's fair enough. They should nerf it to 36 ammo. <laughs> Except that ironically they could, because then he'd have basically have six shots, which is basically the same as Eevee, Bomb King, Drogos, Androxes, etc. They have a lot of characters with six shots. If you think about the amount of characters in this game that basically just have different variations of revolvers, it's kind of funny. And, uh, Seven can just have another revolver. <laughs> yeah. Time to download 36 can't one. be divided by 4, so how would mag dump work? Wait, I'm dumb. Yeah, I was... <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Talk to the devs about that. Yeah, that is a it is a very good point. Get pinned. <laughs> Absolutely wrecked. 
Oh my gosh. All right. Uh, they have double tank. Yeah, I guess we just do Enforcer, right? Because we're a uh... goofy knockback build. Max Harbinger for cooldown reduction. Max Declaration of War for knockback. And then Subjugation for even more distance. So we can knock back more. And then we get some Kronos. And we do it all as much as possible. Remember, aim at the bad guys and hit the buttons. How hard can this be? <laughs> Unpin me, please. This is going to piss me off. Nah, it's the pin of shame. The pin of shame. Actually, when does it expire? Don't those usually expire after like 20 minutes? Five, oh, you said please, four, so okay. Aw, oh, okay. Three, two, <laughs> one. Where am I? Where do I go? Hmm. Oh, I really shouldn't have drank for this. Alright, well, uh, let's head over here. We got a Zahn over here, heck yeah. Double tank, popping off. Oop, Makoa's going in, hold on. Alright, couple's down, we're gonna use this. Ooh, blocked that. And we make it out. Knock him up. I knocked him so far away, he disappeared. <laughs> okay, there we go. Uh... Okay. Oh, he just used both of them, well... I don't even need the CSC immunity then. Oh, I'm actually stuck on that stupid lip. Okay, well. Thank you for the heals. Is he spirits this time? He is. Alright, trying out different Grok builds. I respect it. Alright. I'm going in. Knocked back Wiro instead when he least expects it. Let's go. He's looking for a hook right now. Totally looking for a hook. So let's ult him. Ah, he got the shield. No, I'm just dead. Unfortunate. You can set it to a timer or leave forever until stream ends. Oh, you can do that. Ah, look at me being a professional Twitch streamer. Okay. I'm running. I'm not going to be able to touch, though. Yeah, he gets the hook. This is very annoying because even though we have the CC immunity for the windup, they still have quite literally four characters that can at any instant readily counter my run. So, yeah, I like that. No hook, but it's okay because they have Shaolin's little thingy. Oh boy, I'm just dead. So, yeah, it's very difficult for us to capitalize on the knockback here. I almost feel like what they should do to really buff Rom, because he does need it, is I think they should put the CC immunity in base kit, and for Enforcer, just give him CC immunity for the whole run. To really capitalize on the run play style. Just for funsies. And you could nerf the cooldown if you really wanted to to compensate. But it just feels so bad to play Rom versus a comp like this, and I think it would make sense to make up for the fact that he doesn't have a shield. Because most other tanks have some sort of barrier that will block crowd control. Right? Barracks shield blocks most forms of crowd control. Azan's walls blocks most forms of crowd control. Etc, etc. The list goes on. So, yeah. I just think that would be reasonable. Yeah, it would be a very massive buff, but that's the point. And he's been trashed for so long now, and he'd still be a massive ult battery. I think it'd be okay. No! Stop! I just want to knock you back! Huge wall! Ah! Okay. Bonk! Jeez, I just shot him up into the corner. And... dead. There we go. Or just make it not able to be crippled. That is also a thing. You could remove the movement ability status from it, so you could use it when crippled. But make it so he's still affected by stuns. So it'd be kind of like Bomb King's Poppy Bomb in that regard. That is an option. Although I feel like that'd be less intuitive for players. Because, you know, it's a movement ability that's just immune to cripples for some reason. Okay. And Bomb King's also is super intuitive in that regard, you know? Like, I think Bomb King's Poppy Bomb should be crippled. Oh, oh I just barely didn't hit him. I'm kind of in a bad position, to be honest. Okay, I'm just gonna use this. Bonk. Bonk. <laughs> Into the wall you go. That is really fun. It may not be the best build, but I do like it a lot. Oh, I'm crippled. Crap, I tried to run there. I couldn't. 
One tip I can give for Rom is get Chronos 3 and Veteran, since Soul Harvest is 10 seconds. Now we can use it and refresh the duration of Soul Armor. Start the fight with 4,000 HP. 4,000 extra HP, you mean. 4,000 HP is like, oh, wow, okay. You're just an average tank. <laughs> yeah, that's true. And I do rush Chronos on Rom all the time, because you're absolutely right. More runs, more Soul Harvests. Yeah. Seven into Ray is like drinking orange juice after brushing your teeth. <gasps> A lot of flanks are like that. Buck into Ray. Oh gosh. Like, uh, yeah, it's bad for seven, but it's not. It's not even that bad. Let's be real here. Buck just gets deleted by Ray. Buck doesn't get to play the game when Ray is there. <laughs> Ray is the worst thing they've added. She is not. I am a Ray defender, and I don't even play Ray that much, but I think Ray is a great champion right now. Because she is one of the only supports who's actually unique in 2024. She has a distinct niche. She's not good all the time, right? She's not a universal support. She does something that no other support can do, which is provide ultimate charge. She's an actual support that doesn't just heal bot. And she's basically the only one. So, for that alone, I appreciate Ray's existence. Yeah, Envelop is annoying, but there's also counterplay, and that is mostly in the draft. And yeah, it does suck when you play casuals, you're trying to play some Eevee, and then raise there, but it's not the end of the world. Uh, Alright, ulted. Uh, okay. Balance changes made her feel worse to go against. Yeah, but that could be fixed. They could always just, like, walk back on the damage minion on ults or something like that. I also think, yeah, they could do some more work on her. It's not like she's perfect. I'm not saying she's perfect, but... Yeah, she... She deserves that place in the game, I think. Because, like, yeah, with Focus, for example, yeah, you can't cleanse the mark. It's just permanently on you for four seconds. Unless you have a specific ability that cleanses status effects. So, like... You can dash across the map as 7 with your grapple, and you can still be linked. I think that should be changed. Give it, like, a finite range. Where it automatically snaps regardless, right? That would be good. But yeah. I don't think she's nearly the biggest issue in the support category right now. Alright, I'm going in. Hi, Shaw. Well, bonked him. Okay. Mm. Run! Yabba dabba doo! Get me out of here. 30% slow and free 750 damage. Yeah, that is annoying. It would be cool if it was also like a tighter skill shot. Like, I don't necessarily have a problem with the link in theory, but there are some low quirks about it that suck. Most swear words I've ever seen in an Andrew Chicken stream. Dang. Yeah, Ray and Seven. Both of them being discussed gets a lot of people riled up. Not surprising. Ah! I dashed and he still... Still got it. Run! Ah, no. Uh. It still links to you through walls. Yeah, they could be tighter. They could be way tighter about making it avoid walls. Or like a break when you, you know, get behind a wall, right? And also, when you get too far away from it. I think that would be very reasonable. Like, I don't think it could- I don't think it should be as tight as Torvald's Nullify, but I think, you know, making it more in line with Nullify would be better. Because, yeah, having something persist on you for four seconds behind a wall is kind of dumb. But if you don't cleanse line of sight, then, uh, well, sucks to suck. <laughs> And it could, you know, cleanse off of you after, like, one second of being too far away or being behind a wall instead of four seconds with focus. Okay, you know what? Let's go in. Give me some health. Suddenly, knockback! <laughs> Wrecked. <laughs> Bam! He's got unbound. That stun literally means nothing. Alright, you know what? I'm going in. <laughs> this is such a bad idea. <laughs> oh my gosh. Alright, uh... Veteran. Yes. 
Ray is fun, but she's brain dead. She's not. She's not brain dead either. Retreat. Why do people Retreat. think she's brain dead? Like, you have to manage the link, right? And especially with focus, you know, that has a long cooldown, so you gotta be careful with it. You have to manage positioning carefully, because of your bounces and the way they work. You have to manage choosing whether to use your link for ultimate charge or for healing, which is very important. Or for damage reduction, if you're gonna be goofy and use that card for it. Like, define brain dead, because when I think of brain dead, I think of Sarah's. So that's a brain dead character. And if that's our benchmark for brain dead, Ray is not brain dead. But maybe you guys have a different definition than I do. Solo Ray is brain usage, damage Ray is brain dead. Oh, I see. Uh... Oh, man. I didn't realize you can't use your Soul Harvest while you're reloading to, like, interrupt it. That was really awkward. Bonk. 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 Oh, that didn't send him anywhere. Man. Well, I got him. Looks like we might actually defend here. Let's go. Ray Hills should bounce through, bounce through walls. Now, if you wanted to make Ray brain dead, that would be a way to, to help make her more brain dead. Which doesn't necessarily make it a bad change, but yeah, it would make Ray a lot easier to play because a big part of Ray is making sure that your positioning and your ally's positioning is good so that you can make the bounces work properly. You know, you have to be close enough to them, and you also have to make sure that there aren't any line of sight line of sight issues. Capture point spawning in fifteen Ultimate seconds. Ready. Heal Ray does take some brain. Okay, yeah, yeah. I'm I'm glad we're qualifying that because yeah. <laughs> when I think of Healer Ray, I don't think of brain dead. Four. Three, two, Another thing I do have to appreciate one. about Ray though is the playstyle diversity and the card diversity because she has a lot of really good cards and a lot of different loadouts. Like you, you have the playstyle that I only learned about recently, whereby you spam the link with extension, and you basically just like are constantly switching it back and forth and back and forth. And you're not necessarily playing for ultimate charge; you're just doing that so you can get your cooldowns back faster with that one cooldown card, and then that leads to you having a higher healing. Output, which is but then, of course, you have just, like, the classic Link playstyle with focus or extension, right? Those differences in playstyle. You can choose to give damage reduction or reload speed or whatever the heck. Like, a lot of really good cards there. And which cards you run depends on which team comp you're on, whether you need more of one buff or another. And then, of course, there's the Link providing damage reduction as well. So instead of linking, you know, your teammates, maybe you link an enemy so they do less damage or something like that. I do really appreciate all of that about Ray. Damage Ray makes me want to commit arson. <laughs> I see. I I see. Defend. Which I know it's kind of weird to think about, but that's also pretty much the only thing I appreciate about Vivian is she also has pretty decent card variety and playstyle variety in the sense of, you know, with the cards you can play for a life seal build, you can play for a sensor drone spam build, you can play for sensor drones having max reveal, you can play for a movement speed build, you can play for a shield build. And there is actually a lot of decent cards that she has, too. And considering a lot of recent champion releases, that is seemingly pretty rare, you know? <coughs> Sati. Enemies behind us, I'm on my way! I see no enemies here! I hit one knockback! I'm in danger! 200 health, soul harvest, because I'm a dummy! Let's just use it again. Go, go, go! Wa-bam! Huge! Back to the totems. 2k burst heal. I'm gonna go for the shatter. Wow, that just didn't hit anyone. Okay. Dang. Oh, crap. I'm dead. The sense of drones are the only thing I like about Vivian. She's just so dumb otherwise. Yeah, that's true. Like, the sensor drones are pretty interesting, to, to their credit. There's nothing really like them in the game. I mean, the closest thing would be Kness's Oppressor Mines, but those are very different in their function. But yeah, the rest of her is just gun, gun, more gun, and shield to protect the gun. Ooh, he's going after Betty. No! Oh, there he is. Ah, uh, he gets away with it. Oh, unlucky timing. Alright. Yes, group up. I agree. Wholeheartedly with that statement. 
Let me make sure my health is ramping up here. I'm probably dead, actually. Yeah, I'm very dead. Why his ult doesn't follow the terrain? It's just straight? Yeah, I never understood that. I think they just ran out of time when programming the skill. <laughs> Which, there really is no excuse, to be totally frank, because, like... Way older games have done that ability just fine. I always point to Frost from Warframe because his second ability is literally the exact same as Rom Slam. And it follows the terrain perfectly. I don't understand why Palakas can't do that. Woo! Dodging and weaving! Dodging and weaving! Alright, we're here. Let me get the 2k real quick. Can't believe I didn't get cauterized long enough for that to actually work. And about this ability, I'm stuck! I'm actually stuck! Woo! Okay. I'm dead. <laughs> that sucks. It was still worth it for me to be in the run because of the DR, but yeah, really just a bad situation there. That is true that Rom Slam is actually good, unlike Frost 2, but the point is comparing the actual function of it following terrain properly. Ooh. Oh, it's an app up. Alright, there we go. I really should be focusing Grover. He's low. There we go, got him. Pop that heal. 9,000 health right now. I have 10,000 health build with Rom right now, by the way, and I'm not even using the health card, except I think at level 1. Yeah, literally just at level 1. Crazy how high a veteran skills now. I don't have nearly as much of a problem with veteran as I do armor plating. Because veteran at least makes the number go up, and that makes me happy. <laughs> and damage reduction is much more powerful anyways than max health increases, because percent base damage actually makes it so you don't want to build for health. And then DR also makes you do less damage, which hurts your ultimate charge, hurts your credit generation. It's annoying. It doesn't feel good to play against. Very different dynamic. Why am I not headshotting him? <laughs> Big slam! Got him. I'm dead. Man, I had to try. Worst ult in the game, go. Corvus ult, he doesn't shout loud enough. Yeah, Corvus ult and Strix ult are pretty low down there. Ooh, we got a paragraph. For me, Ray Healer takes enough brains to play it, and also good team organization, especially when you have to spam the link to reduce your cooldowns with the half-second cooldown reduction card. High skill, high reward, I guess. Plus, with the right set of cards, with Envelop, you can reduce any upcoming damage to 179. Get if you then go damage range, use that build against the damage of flank, seconds. you're immortal. Yeah, that's where the damage play style is just so cheesy. A lot of people don't like it. I like playing against it, anyways. Five, four, but yeah. Three. Two, Solo healer Ray, one, if you can actually pull it off at a high skill level, uh, in a high skill lobby, is ready. good on you, well played. Is down. Okay, let me pop this, 8,000 HP up and ready, and we're gonna just slam into Grover here, try and push him back, oh my god, alright, <laughs> there we go, got my run back, except now he's gonna have his vine back, oh, hello, that didn't actually hit, okay, gotcha, there goes the vine. I'm chasing, I think I might be able to make this work. Oh, he's just dead. Okay, because, yeah, seven's more mobile than seven. Or seven's more mobile than Rom. Oh, yes, the seven here is more mobile than the seven. <laughs> hey, buddy. You like death. Okay, let's just run away. We are in control of the point. I guess I'll just play up here or something. 9k HP. Ooh, give me this Grover. Give me this Grover. Come back here. Come back here. Oh, he's full health. That's right, because he's Grover. And he vines away again. No, stop it. Come back here. Oh my gosh, Khan is just cleaning up with 7 right now. I'm gonna try and blast Makoa. Does he have ult? No, he doesn't. Uh, that should be GG, I think. I have infinite ammo. You can't stop me. There we go. Oh yeah, that's right. We, that's not the game-winning cap. We stopped the play. Man. I forgot. That felt like uh That felt like it was 3-3. Okay. Ooh, no hook. Gonna bait it. Ah, uh, JK. <laughs> he didn't even try. Alright. Whoa, hello. Oh! Wow, we're going really fast. 
Speed fear! Oh. Nice. Alright, I'm gonna chase him. Whoa, whoa, what's happening? Okay, die. Yes. <laughs> ah. Yeah, I guess I'll just chill up here. Let me reload real quick. Whoa. Hold on, let me get my soul armor real quick. Thank you, Makoa. Why am I not able to headshot this guy anymore? Seriously, my headshots just aren't working against Makoa right there. You see that? I want him to come fight me again. I want to try and headshot him. Where is he? There he is. You challenge Makoa? Yeah, what the heck? I'm not headshotting him. Ah, please stop. How have I not hit a single headshot on all that? I think it's broken. I think he broke his head headshot hitbox somehow. Is anyone else headshotting him, or is it just like a ROM issue? What's going on here? That is so weird. Ugh. Okay, gotcha. Scare him away. I feared the seven, technically, kind of. A little bit. Alright, he's gone. They are struggling right now, and that's GG. That was really weird against Makoa, though. I don't know what was up with that. I almost wonder if it's a ROM issue. Not that I was trying to headshot other people, but like... I don't know. Not many headshots that game. And my game is black screen, hello? Game is breaking. You were just missing? No, nah, I definitely hit some headshots there. I definitely nailed him in the head a few times. Huh. Black screen. Yay. I'm going to wait. I think it'll put me back into the main menu eventually. There's a fix for the black screen bug, by the way. What is it? Oh my! I just realized Earlmeyer pinned a message. Join my Discord server. Yeah. Earlmeyer doing my job better than me? Actually advertising the server? No way. If you bind disconnect to your keybinds, it fixes it. Huh. Wow, that's weird. Okay, I'm just going to restart my game. Probably a good idea anyways, considering we're at the three-hour mark now, and we still have so many more characters left to go. And we're actually... This is also very good timing. Don't mind the uh, noises, by the way. That's easy anti-cheat. Uh, <clears throat> but yeah, since we're at the three-hour mark now, we were going to swap party. But we don't need to, because we're just going to... We're going to go into customs for a little bit, for the horse gameplay. Got to play two matches of horse. And then we'll do another party after that and play Scorch, Kasumi, Shailene, Dyrek, and Essa. Ah! Alright, there we go. We're almost there. We're almost back. There's the Georgia Peach. Okay. There we go. Thank you, game. Uh-oh, we stuck on the completing login screens. Paladin's borked? Wait, actually, hello? Paladin's is not responding. Oh, oh. Okay. Wow, Paladin's, you are goofy right now. Hey, 142,000 damage is ROM. Let's go. That was a really high damage game. Look at that. 213k, 138k, 142k, 210, 156, 107, 124. Everyone on the team getting six digits except for Grover. I have to know. How the heck does Betty LaBamba against that team comp in such a long match only get 87,000 damage? That's baffling. Anyways, uh, okay, what am I doing? Right, so for the horse... We had one donor request to use the horse skin that is the least like a horse, which I think is the 8-bit speeder, I'm going to say. 
that's the least horse-like out of any horse. And then, yeah, we're going to do one custom game, play the horse, and then we're going to do a second custom game and play the horse. So let's go to Bright Marsh. Password is going to be 123. Go ahead and join at your earliest convenience. I got chased and sniped the whole time. I was bullied in the back. Hmm. Yeah, you did 19. You did die 19 times. I guess that's partially why. The focus. Uh. Oh, no glitch. Okay. Sometimes if people join too fast in the custom game, it glitches out and not everyone shows up. But uh, yeah, it looks like we are just waiting for two more people to join, so. Yeah, we're on NA. 5v5, passwords 1, 2, 3 on the top left of the screen. Make sure your crossplay is on. I usually write much longer paragraphs. It's not even that long, that one. Same. I always have a problem with writing too much. It's a problem I've been trying to hamper down on with my recent guides that I've been writing. With varying levels of success. Because, you know, like the Azan guide was pretty long. But that was the... I suppose you might call it the abridged version. It's just like, I'm doing a good job of making sure that my wording isn't as lengthy, because that's something I always struggled on. But then the guides are way more chock full of tips than they previously were in the past, so it's kind of like balancing it out and still making it pretty long. That's what I'm going to have to do with the BK guide script probably tomorrow when I do my revisions, is really cut down on the wording. So, all right. Horse time. Horse gaming. Let's go! See, I'm so happy to play more of the horse. Truly a legendary dogs. character right here. And I think Infernal Let's Drogos is going to try and horse one view on me. Best one. <laughs> I need to horse stiff Infernal Drogos. Ah. Also, it's Weir on the enemy team. I swear, if he plays seven, I'm done. <laughs> I'm so done. I don't want to. <sighs> We got Vora, though. That's pretty nice. Do need a healer. Horse is stronger than seven. We did prove that last stream by beating a seven in our final custom game. But in fairness, that seven got three kills. And I'm sure Weiro can get more than three kills. Seven's just annoying, though. This will be my first time seeing Horus in action. No idea what to expect. Oh, you haven't seen it yet? Made two videos on it. It's very fun. Okay, you played Fernando. Heck yeah. Much better. Got it if Willow. Got it if Androxus. Pip. Alright. Sounds absolutely lovely to me. Me as my horse. <laughs> That's not actually a horse because we're an 8-bit speeder. <laughs> it's like a battering ram almost. Just going to ram them down. Okay, so cart before. Increase our odds of winning a game by 20%. Obviously, best talent. Uh, yeah. The, <laughs> this is my build that puts the only two cards that actually work at level 5. The, the other three cards don't work. But yeah, we are ready. Good luck on that skin, Andrew. I couldn't see a thing. Oh, yeah. It's a very bulky skin. Don't really want that. But we were told to play the skin... That is at least like a horse, and I think this is about as far away from a horse as you can get. No, this is not a real siege match. This is a custom match. You just have, you must have just missed the part where I made the custom game. Five, four. But yeah, you can play the horse in customs, and two, it is dope. One. It is awesome. No go. Let the legend come back. To it was also today's video. I recommend watching it. It was a very good video. All right, I believe we can just jump across here. Oh, except I forgot about the dismounting thing. Uh, that totally just broke my jump there. That's definitely <laughs> not a good start. Whoops. <laughs> Wait, I killed Infernal Drogos? How? What? How did that work? I didn't see what happened because I was under the map. Okay. That was really weird. <laughs> Okay, let me do the jump for real this time. We left-click to dismount, and then, yeah, we easily make it over there in one jump. Charge through. There we go. Gotcha. Hello. There we go. So does that count as an Infernal Drogo's diff? Because, uh, I mean, I killed her, technically. I don't know how. 
She didn't kill me, technically. I charged off the map accidentally. I just had too much movement speed. I just slipped right through the crack. Ooh, Kana was able to jump over here. This is going to be hard with this mount, but I'm going to try. Ooh, okay, we did it. Whew, that's tough, but very doable. And now... Whee! Now we're behind them. Hello! Oop, missed the charge. No! Androxis! I was gonna win that! I was gonna win that 1v2 because she got a heal too! Oh man. Alright, we're gonna do lethality. I'm gonna do nimble lethality gaming because uh, movement speed buffs are really good on the horse. Because she's got a massive base movement speed. Because she's a horse, quite obviously. <sighs> Whoa, I need a heal. Ah, oh, I didn't get healed. Unlucky. Was I in the dead zone? I don't think I was. I don't know. Ah, got clipped with a Scorch as well. Five HP card saved her. Yeah, quite literally. <laughs> That's so sad. Dang, Androx is just getting in the way of all my plans. Okay. Woo! Androxus, please! Alright, there's some damage. Nice void grip. I'm gonna try and punch through there. Run back away. Oh, she's... Oh, she's not scorned. Okay. That did a lot of damage, surprisingly. Kind of a struggle to push, because we're not that far pushed up yet. So I'm really just struggling to get in. It was really low. Oh, they're all super low back here. Punch. There we go. Gotcha. Gonna jump away. Nice. Diff their horse. All right. Huge. I don't think I've gotten too many kills this match, but we are definitely diffing their team. Absolute horse gaming. This character is so much fun. Seriously. Yeah, I love that the dash carries the AoE of the leap, too. That's really good tech. I think that's super nice. It'd be a good small quality of life for Tiberius. Well, it wouldn't really, because he doesn't have a second dash that he can do that with. But it would be nice if we got more air control and maybe the ability to, like... I don't know. <laughs> have less of a wind-up, or maybe be able to, like, chain jumps together or something. Tell me who made the horse hitbox for the horse, because I can't flick it. Five, really, you're fooling four, me, because I'm three, getting ravaged by your two, damage. One... Also bear in mind, <laughs> I'm playing a speeder, I'm not playing a horse, so the skin makes it look like I'm way bigger than I actually am. Alright, make the jump properly this time. Oh, the horse turned into a chicken. I'm still pretty fast, though. Alright. Oh, nice ult. Oh, look at that burst combo. Oh, Kana stole my kill, though. I'm gonna have, like, no kills at the end, because of Kana. Oh, 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 hey! No, that got stolen too! Guys, you're making me look bad. The stats on the scoreboard are not going to reflect what actually transpired in-game. Ah. Oh, boy. Alright, I'm jumping back here. Someone's behind us. It's the horse! Oh, I didn't even need to help with that. Okay. Well, fair enough. I would love a top off, but I don't think I'm going to get one. Yeah, alright. Hello! Not able to knock you off the map, but we can do a ton of damage. Andro's gonna finish me, Defiant Fist. I'm just gonna buy more lethality, because it's funny. Using ultimate during leap would make the leap talent much better? Oh, yeah, I guess. That would be really weird to program, though. I feel like it wouldn't be super intuitive either. Like, for the horse, I think it's intuitive, but for that... Because you could, like, chain dashes together. I just... I don't know about that. Oof, she got me when I was 1 HP because of Androxus. Did the burst combo versus him, didn't have enough fuel in the tank. Uh, actually, I'm super close to Lethality 3. I'm gonna wait for that. There we go. Lethality 3. Yes. Alrighty. Yeah, horse doesn't need to charge the leap either. That's why it's better. I will not die. It'd be not really nice if Tiberius go. didn't have to do that. Whee! Ooh, all right. I got like knocked up weirdly. I don't think the charge hit me, but maybe it did. It was a bit hard to tell. Kana was right. The visibility on this horse skin is uh, 
pretty bad. <laughs> uh. Did you expect me to thank you? All right, I'm going in. No, she was one. Okay, thank you for finishing that. I'm gonna have 14 assists. <laughs> Ooh, that Andrew was one. Does he die? Yes, he does. It looks like we just 4-0 stomp these guys. Let me save you from yourself. I feel like Khan is just absolutely carrying the lobby with his damaged Genos. Not really a chance to let the horse shine. No one was surprised. I see you uh, have many requests today here as a randomized no. build to add to the pile for big game Cassie Ray's yeah, one Yeah, I raised, I raised my prices, bloody heck. Sign five, onslaught five, you have to buy Rajuv Sentinel I raised my prices because we have too many warding. requests. We're already well over three hours into the stream. So, unless I get another 100 bits, I'm not doing that. I'm sorry. Rules are rules, I gotta follow them. I make the rules and I follow them. Wow, I got farmed. I died six times. Jeez. Inferno got one more kill than me, but honestly, I got robbed out of at least two kills that match, so... I'm gonna say I got eight kills and six assists instead, because I clearly got robbed of two. The knockback kill and the, uh... What was the other kill? Oh, okay, boy. then okay. I just entered. Add it to the list. Add it to the list, Helvian. Okay, we gotta do another horse game, so... Let's go, and let's hopefully do better than we did that that match. Teammates just kind of stole my thunder. How many kills did Kana get? I forgot to check. Bro got 13 kills. Jeez. Alright, we'll do... Ooh, Serpent Beach. Serpent Beach sounds like a lot of fun. There you go. It's crazy how 100 people are watching this, but only like 10 people actually chat. Yeah, that's just how streams work. Some people are just here to... You know, some of them are just here to have like some background noise. And if that's you, hi. Hi. I do that sometimes as well. <laughs> Alright, we need one more person. Uno mas. <sighs> Hello? Anybody? Yeah, it's not bugged. We need one more person, please. Uh, I played a little bit of the Warframe update. I was curious to try the Inaros rework. Because, you know, he's been utter garbage for a long time now and to be honest i'm not a fan to me he just seems like a worse version of grendel you know he's got the corrosive Sage. application but you know you need archon shards to actually get armor strip out of it and then it's also way slower of an application than what grendel Put can do grendel guys. can have that tiny little bit of shield getting that really helps grendel has better self-sustain Grendel has better crowd control, at least in my opinion. Uh, I, I just, I don't see a reason to play Anaros over Grendel right now. Better mobility too, which that's why I play Grendel, because <laughs> it's really fun. And also, you know, if we want to talk about corrosive applications, Saren and uh, Hydra just do that better too. So... It said the horse variant of the horse skin. I guess I'll do Onyx Stallion. <laughs> Sounds good to me. No, I haven't played the PoE update. I'm kind of breaking my cycle. When's the last time I played PoE? October 30th, so... I guess we are about six months. A little over six months since I last played PoE. I don't know, maybe I'll get that PoE itch soon. Normally I just get like an itch, get into the game super heavily for like two weeks to two months, and then drop it for a year or two year and a half. Or excuse me, not a year to a year and a half. I mean, a year or a, a half. Well, that was weird wording. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Honestly, I've heard that they're getting closer to PoE 2 coming out. I don't know if they released a release date for that yet, but I'm very excited for that. I am definitely going to play PoE 2 when that arrives, regardless of my cycle. <laughs> Remember... But yeah, I haven't really been following much of what they've been doing. I've heard they've done a lot of quality of life changes, but I don't actually know what those changes are. So, yeah. 2025? Did they say it was 2025? Or... I don't know. Uh, let me do... Yes, Nimble again. 
Weiro's on the horse this time, and they have seven. Ew, gross. They have no healer, though, so we should just stomp them here. I don't know why they did that. That's a bit silly. A bit silly. All right, let's see. Can I just jump across the way? Oh my gosh, I can. That's so cool. Ooh, got the seven. Horse diff. Horse is better than seven. I actually made the serious suggestion in the Paladin's Partner Program server, and I can tell you this because I'm... It's just my suggestion. I don't have an NDA on what I'm saying in that regard. Uh, <laughs> I made the serious suggestion to uh, remove seven and replace a horse. And I'm dead serious about that. That is a 100% serious suggestion. And I'm telling it to you as well, chat. Because that's my suggestion. And I want to spread the word. And I want people to sign a petition to replace horse with seven. That is my goal. That is my new goal. Burst combo, yes. I mean, he's more fair than Seven, he's more fun than Seven, he's... Or, she's funnier than Seven, I keep forgetting she's a she. <laughs> Honestly, just a better character, through and through. Oh, I didn't make that, I needed a wall jump. Got a wall jump for that. Hello. Ooh, if only I had my dash. Seven's still dead, though. <laughs> Bit of a joust there. No, oh, I lost it. I missed too many shots. Also, Weiro's bought <laughs> armor plating like a loser. How dare you? More fair? Is this an intentionally trying to annoy Questionator stream now? Uh, I mean, it's true, though. The horse is more fair than Seven. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Just saying... Brody is technically the first cross-dressing skin. No, not cross-dressing. Brody is just one of the only female-to-male characters in the game. And we can actually confirm that now, because they confirmed the horse's gender is female. Which means, yeah, Brody is a uh, female-to-male character, instead of the male-to-female skins that we usually have. That's actually pretty dope. I like that. Report Genos. Why are we reporting Genos? What's happening? Oh, no spawn ult. Oh, oh. Yeah, report Genos for that. Three, Unacceptable. Two, one. <laughs> okay. Let's go do some more horse okay. stiffing. Horsing around. Yes. Alright, I'm just gonna jump across the way. Oop. I'm in a bit of a pickle. We got the kill. Might die, though. Ah, uh, the dodging isn't good enough. Alright, well done. I got the kill, though, so I think it was worth it. I agree that the horse is better than Seven, and I didn't even touch this update. See, that's just perfect. People who haven't even played the update know the horse is better. <laughs> it seriously is actually kind of beautiful and funny how... Yeah, there has been such massive support for the horse character. Like, people genuinely actually unironically love it, and I'm all here for it. <laughs> I mean, it's funny, it's a joke character, but they actually made it, like, ridiculously fun. It's so cool. I really do hope they expand on the concept in some way, shape, or form. Because I think that would be great. I mean... It's almost uncontroversially a good character design. Here we go, gotcha. Like, you would maybe have to tweak the numbers a little bit. Maybe. Honestly, probably not even that much, apart from, like, the movement speed. Uh, and then figure out a good ultimate for the character to have. Oh, I couldn't make that. Maybe if I wall jumped. I'm not wall jumping enough, man. That's the problem. Yeah, I just inted there. It's Yag 2.0. It's Yag, but if Yag was actually really fun and fluid. Because this gameplay is way more fluid than Yag. But yeah, you're right. Because Yag is the only other character with a base movement speed that's that high. But then she also goes stationary. I don't even think the movement speed is... Ah! <laughs> that was almost very awkward. But yeah, I don't even really think the movement speed is actually that imbalanced. Because yeah, the horse is ridiculously fast. But it's not like the horse has 7 grapple or Eevee or anything like that, right? It's very intuitive mobility. And intuitive mobility is always going to be easier to track than unintuitive mobility, right? 
That's why, yes, I suppose if you're playing a hit scan to some extent, it is easier to track Seven in his grapple than it is to track Evie in her soar. And also, the horse has a relatively low health pool. I mean, 2200 isn't a lot. If they actually gave it a health card that was serious, then... Oh. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Wait, I actually might have lived that if I jumped. Ah, whatever. But yeah, if you gave it a serious health card, it'd be able to get, you know, 2450 HP, right? Realistically, I think that would be the number they'd go to. And then I guess, yeah, you'd have armor plating and it'd run into the same issues as any, every other character. That would be a problem. So I guess maybe to compensate if it does have a health card at all, then just make it have 2,000 HP in set, or just don't give it a health card. And I think that would be fine. And yeah, it has no defensive move either, so it's all movement. Auto will counter it, CC counters it. Man, it is just so fun to move around with lethality, though. Boom, comboed, and that is a GG, almost. Ooh, shot the horse out of the sky. GG's. Now watch, their next official champion release gets the complete opposite reception of the horse. That would really suck if that happens. But honestly, it wouldn't surprise me. Okay. Yay, we did better that time. I got 12 kills. That's what I'm talking about. Horse gaming. All right, let's get a party together now. If you want to join, say your name in the chat. Let me clear the horse from the queue. Still got a lot of characters left to play. We're three and a half hours into the stream. Ah. All right. Jiki. Shin. Mafia. Asume. And Fallen. There you go. All right. And let's queue. Wow. Oh my gosh. What the heck? Why is the menu so laggy? These buttons are lagging. Oh my gosh. Probably because I've been streaming for so long. My computer's like, ah, Andrew, you're still writing to a file that is now 40 gigabytes in size. Can you please stop this? <laughs> ah. No, do not turn it into a six-hour stream. I will raise my prices again. I will charge $10 for a champion request. Don't make me do it. <laughs> like, it's at some point, at some point, too much is too much. Do let us know what the final file size is, please. I'm curious. Oh, well, I can just tell you what, like, the average stream takes up. Here, let me look. Okay, last stream was 4 hours, and it was 44 gigabytes. Previous stream, 3 hours, 32 gigabytes. 4 hour, 40 minute stream, 42 gigabytes. I really don't understand why there's a discrepancy in the file size sometimes. I assume it must be less encoding Let's power needed on. for certain Choose streams that I spend more time, like, in the menu or something like that. Put on some fancy duds. But, yeah. Fernando. Yikes, party pooper streamer. Okay, questionator. If we're seven hours deep into a stream and we're still getting champion requests, I'm raising the prices. <laughs> That's just... I, I have to. I can't stream forever. Also, to be, to be honest, I'm not sure why you'd want me to stream that long either, because eventually at some point I'd get burnt out, I'd get tired, it'd be bad. Yeah, exactly. It is more money. <laughs> Me raising my prices is more money. Ooh. What if there are rich kids who you will stream forever? Yeah, Eventually, the price will just get so ludicrous that the entire stream turns into a joke. And if they still pay for that, then honestly, at that point, that's their loss. <laughs> $1,000 champion request. <laughs> I'm rich. That would be ludicrous. Can you imagine? Someone just drops $1,000. Andrew Chicken, can you play a match of Bomb King, please? This is a hot Easiest thousand dollars I've ever like made in my life. Team, but with me in it. Thousand dollars to play seven. Oh my gosh. I mean, I'd do that. I'd happily do that. Thousand dollars? <laughs> I hate seven, but I don't hate seven that much. I mean, come on. He's not even the character I don't enjoy playing the most. I, I, I enjoy seven more than a lot of other characters when it comes to actually playing him. Which, that's always been his strong suit, I suppose, is they that, yeah, no he's chance. ridiculously unfun to play against, but, I mean, 
I guess he itches the uh, Spider-Man with a gun fantasy that a lot of people have. Yeah, 200 bits is $2, yeah. Or at least I get $2 out of it. It's slightly more expensive to buy bits uh, for the consumer, but, you know, that's just the way Twitch works. Don't forget. It's kind of, you know, it's awkward both ways, because, like, for the donation, uh... To, to a certain point, I get less money from a donation at the donation link, in the sense that PayPal charges, like, a flat fee of, like, 50 cents every time a donation comes through. So the larger the donation, the less of a problem it is for me. And it's also cheaper for the consumer to do that. So, like, it's cheaper to donate a dollar over on the donation link than it is, like, you know, buy bits. That would give me a dollar, right? It, it's just, it's, it's a little bit awkward anyway, you cut it. You know? Someone gave Mutu a thousand dollars to go to Brazil. Wait, like actually go to Brazil in real life, or go to Brazilian servers? Because one of those is drastically different to the other. Whew, we're gonna do a lot of damage here. Oh, that shield was so unlucky. I was about to hit another triple fireball. Oh, and that wall got in the way. I'm not able to hit fireballs on anything, man. Azan sabotaged me that time. Okay, well, let me charge down Barrack. Fireball, and I will take that kill. Let's go. Huge Scorch Gaming. Hello. Charge. Fireball. No. I didn't get cooldown reduction off that either. There's that fireball. I'm just going to keep fighting him. Alright, we're ulting this. There we go. I'm so greedy. Oh, he actually hit the shot. No. Too greedy. I am too greedy. I am the greediest Fernando player. What's with these triple tank comps? Yeah, we've gotten a lot of beefy comps today. For some reason. I mean, I'm okay with it when I play Scorch, because that just means the fattest fireballs. And I absolutely love chunky three, four, five man fireballs. It's just beautiful, really. Aha! No, that cripple! Meyer, I can't do that. That would be a scam and a half. Tada! You Meyer, use this dono to remove one game you want from the queue. That would be an actual scam. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I don't want to scam people like that. Just rip two dollars out of somebody's hands. Don't give them the product they asked for? Nah. I'm mean, but I'm not that mean. Oh, oh boy. Just stand in the gourd. Oh, huge heal from the Damba. Huge fear. I assume they're just going to have that ROM. Yeah. Let me just charge through, keep bullying Khan for now. Hit the barrack with that. Much more productive for me to target him, I think. I have to wonder where he's getting that damage reduction from. Yeah, he doesn't have any items. He's just getting damage reduction somehow. Did Ray have the link on me? Is she doing that? That would explain why my fireball is getting less damage. Fireball. You are very dead. <laughs> Alright. Uh, oop, okay. Wow, come on, Moji. No, Moji, you have to actually, like, run into them to eat them. Oh no. Uh, fireball the ray. Should be able to take her out. Oh, shield. Okay. Why did my shield just get one shot? Did the spawner actually do damage to that there? I guess it did. Uh, fireball hit the shield. Ooh. No, she actually lives that crap. This looks pretty bad. Uh, he's one. Come on, Azan. Good job. Ooh, Damba died. Okay. I don't think we have this. Okay, let me check. Yeah, she's got 16% DR. That explains it. Erline Meyer donated $2. Okay, your loss. Play one match of Omen with more, more, more <sighs> five and trigger sense. Well, see, now Erline Meyer, I just get $4 out of you. Get so a kill. I, am I really losing? <laughs> All right, add it to the list. 
there. All right. And with that, I'm now going to raise the price to $3, because that's going to push us well past the four-hour mark now. So, more inflation. Don't worry, these aren't going to be permanent prices, by the way. I'm not that silly. I wouldn't make you pay $3 for the rest of the time. That would be crazy. Capture point spawning in 15 right, here. seconds. Uh, do that and that. And just to make extra sure, I'm also going to raise the price of the throw pick to 1,500 Five, bits. Four, there we go. Three, it's a good thing I made two, that command for today, man. One. Jeez. Okay, let's go. It's already past the five-hour mark? Gosh, I hope not. I'm gonna have to start breezing these through in Team Deathmatch. <laughs> ah. No, the shield! Stop it! Stop denying my big balls! Come on, man. Okay. Oh, we got the heals. We stay aggressive. We stay aggressive. Huge charge. Fireball. Oh, he got another shield up. Okay. Ah. Hi, Ray. Yeah, I do less damage to you, but you're still dead. Alright, we got it. What? I'm playing Scorched. That was an appropriate remark. I don't want to hear it, chat. Don't cripple me. Ah. Alright. Only back up real quick. Backing up. Oh, watch out, Jiki. Watch out! You got tanks chasing you down! Alright, thank you for the gourd. The shield. I also just realized we have snack attack Moji. That's pretty cool. Is she getting bloodbath? No. You should commit to the bit and get bloodbath. I think it'd be funny. Ooh, nice. Charge. He's just dead. Alright. Flamen Werfer. Oop, he's walled off. Dead. There we go. Don't want to get thrown off the map, so let's be a little bit careful. He's backing up, though. I think we're fine. Wow, I just sent that into the floor. What am I doing? Trying to melt the ice on this map? Alright, there we go. Gotcha. Gotcha. Ooh, he he actually left. I thought he accepted his death. No, he is actually a bot now. That's so sad. He's like, why are we losing with three tanks? Come on, guys. Pick it up. Ooh, that actually did full damage. Okay, nice. Fireball. I think they'll be fine with Khan back there when we hit the fireball. Let me back up, actually, so I can get healed. Sand the Gourd. There we go. Ooh, boy. These bots, man. I'm gonna ult. I wanna confirm this. Plus, I haven't pressed the button in a while, and I feel bad for it. <laughs> Oop. Gah! Fireball! There we go. Charge. Ooh, he still hit that. No. Okay, she's fine. It's Willow. Yep, that's gonna wrap up that push. It's a real shame, though, because we have a bot. Imagine if the environment was actually able to be destroyed and fire melts the ground on this map in ice mines. It would be cool. But that's far beyond the technical capacity of this game. Turning Paladins into Minecraft. Okay, uh, lethality number three, because I'm being very goofy with Fernando right now. And we'll do some, yeah, we'll do some rejuvenate for the Damba heals. Might as well. Keep doing a good job keeping me topped off. Yes, rejuve team, I got you. And rejuve for the bloodbath snack attack moji, heck yeah. One. Poppycock. I just want to change the icon for the channel points. Uh, if you're talking for your own channel, there's, uh, I mean, the setting's probably close to where you just edit the channel points in general. If you're talking for my channel, you can't, because it's my channel, and they're my channel points, so I don't know why you'd expect to change that. Dang, this lethality goes crazy, we're so fast. I like that they made it 200 credits, I just wish they would increase the duration to 5 seconds, just like every other after kill buff. Because Trigger Sent, Sentinel, they all last for five seconds. I don't know why Lethality doesn't. It seems awfully strange to me. Kill the bot! Kill the bot! He has no idea! He has no thoughts! His head is empty! He's dead. Alright. Isn't Ray back here? Somewhere? No? 
Someone was back here on Moji. I don't know who it was. Oh, you're dead. And I think that's probably just a GG, right? Oop. Okay. Oop. Ah, <laughs> he's getting stuck. Oh, he doesn't get a touch. Poor guy. No one was surprised. What on earth are you talking about? That is okay. Stop. Goodness. <laughs> In your next guide, don't say controller Damba is hard. Well, I wasn't going to because I was making a Bomb King guide. I don't know why I would even talk about Damba. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's only the streamer that can change those. I don't think mods can change the icons. If they could, that would be a problem. Okay, well, uh, 12 kills. That's pretty good. Pretty satisfactory Fernando gameplay. But yeah, it's a shame the Shaolin basically gave up. We'll report him. Gave up and threw. AFK. There we go. Uh, next up, we have to play Kasumi. Yay. <laughs> Woohoo. I'm so excited. Hmm. <sighs> Yeah, we wouldn't abuse it that much. Oh, oh gosh. Diving Willow is so much fun when it, now when it works. Diving as Willow, yeah. I was about to say, I think I, I think it got a lot harder to dive Willow this patch. Playing Buck, she just floats away. Oh no, she's up in the sky. Crap, <laughs> can't hit her. What are you waffling about, phone? Probably telling me that I got some donations, huh? Yeah, okay, well. Thanks, I guess. Double Meyer's request? Anyways, I'd like to double Mayor's <sighs> request. <sighs> this price increase is really working out, though. I should do this more often. <laughs> I should be greedy. <clears throat> Making me realize what I can get away with. I don't even know how many requests I've gotten today in total. I've lost track. Let's see. Okay, so let's do some math. Uh, there were five EV games. One Yang game. Three IO games. One is on game. That's 10. 11, 12, 13, 14. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 donation requests. What the heck? <laughs> I mean, I appreciate the generosity. Don't get me wrong, but it's like, whoa. You guys are going overboard. Six hour stream. Ah. Especially with these queue times, though. Yeesh. We might actually have to go to uh, to Team Deathmatch. Siege. It's Ooh, especially because I just looked in my Discord. Champion. We're going to get pizza at some point. Oh, boy. Uh, yeah, we need to wrap this up then. Uh, let's do Kasumi. There she is. Put on some fancy duds. The one is doing a 12 hour stream almost every day. He is insane. I don't know how he does it. I mean, that's insane for many reasons. It's insane because at face value, it's 12 hours of ranked paladins every day. But also, like, he's working more than, like, you're supposed to, you know? 12 hours a day, five days a week, I assume? Does he... Does he stream every day, or is it just, like, five days a week type of deal? If it's... Let's assume it's five days a week. That's 60 hours a week. That's 20 more than average. He's working 20 hours of overtime. Why? <laughs> He's insane. Take a break, man. I'll make you mine no matter what the cost. Flat's still superior 24-hour stream. I mean, at least he doesn't 24-hour stream every day. I mean, that would just be impossible. Goes to the gym in the morning. That's good. I just can't imagine 12 hour streams every day. That's just not for me. Especially with my commentary style. You know, I do a lot of commentary. And yeah, if you're going to stream for a long amount of time, you just. I feel like you can't commentate as much. Crazy. Crazy. Gotta report Z1's boss. Crazy. He's forcing him to work too much. Someone help. Alright, is Unfinished that. Business still the play? I don't know what Kasumi mains use these days. I'll just play Unfinished Business and Kana's build because... I don't know. 
I don't like Eevee's name, or maybe I do. Bottom energy. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. Welcome to sometimes I like it, sometimes I don't, you know? It is what it is. Yeah. Can this be? Ah, welcome. Welcome to the stream. How you doing? Let's do armor plating. I'm just gonna be tank Kasumi. I'll get some nimble as well. Why not? 12 hours of playing, 8 hours of sleep, 4 hours of anything you want to do. Yeah. I still just think that's too much. Like, yeah. Wouldn't you rather have, like, I don't know, 8 hours of work and then 8 hours of do whatever you want? Eh, but, ooh, I didn't press the button, sorry. But yeah, also with the way streaming works, especially the way streaming in Paladins works, you know, the money is not going to be super consistent. So, the longer you stream, the more chances you have to actually get enough money to pay your rent and stuff. This is casuals. We're doing champion requests. Please do not request any more champions. <laughs> we have such a backlog. We've had a massive backlog of like a dozen the entire stream. <laughs> I have to play this stinking character. Alright, we got a kill. That's nice. Throw mine on point. Alright, me and Sati, wombo combo. I'm gonna go for this real quick, heal it all back up. Max stacks and burst combo. I'm dead, but at least I traded. Still on point right now. That Eevee ult has something to say about it, though. Uh oh, yeah, Sati's dead. She's Snow Globe. Yeah, bit of a weird build. Going for Flicker on Snow Globe. Kind of a spicy move. Uh, Terminus isn't even close to ult. Huge damage on the on. Shield it all back up, though. I'm not gonna touch that. Let me just zip back around here. Here, I'll throw that there. That deployed there, even though I aimed it at the wall. What the heck. I don't like deploying Kasumi Mines, but I especially don't like it on this map, because this map is just weird. Alright, I'm out. Goodbye. Whoa. Okay, well, I got five stacks. He dies, thankfully. Still got a lot of them over here, though. Uh, I'm out of range. Oh, crap. 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 Leon's one. I couldn't finish her. Anybody? No, she got a Grove Rolls. Oh, man. That is so unfortunate. Jiki's going around trying to do some damage. Did you get the EV? She was pretty low. That Grover's just all over the place. Try and help him out. Oh, I got stuck. Here we go. Uh, oh, good. Alright, throwing that up. Cause some mayhem. Good. Double kill. Ooh, not quite a triple kill, but still, huge value. That was actually a really good ult, if I say so myself. And there we go. I don't like Kazumi, I'm a Koga main. Fair enough. No, I'm not playing Maeve. Ugh. I have raised my prices for champion requests two times this stream because <laughs> everyone has gone absolutely mental. Everyone got paid today or something. And uh, I cannot do a six hour long, seven hour long stream, right? So at some point we have to slow down the snowball a little bit, right? So if you want to pay 300 bits, I guess you can. But yeah. Ah, I'm running away. I'm getting out of here. Still coming around, I think. I'll throw mine there. Ah, oh, he's gone. Okay. Thirty seconds remaining. Oh. Ooh, hello. Okay, I'm gone. Survive that, thankfully. Let's do a twenty second to match your age focus. Ray Mystic Mastery One Leapori Prayer Two Enveloping Magic Three Midnight Scroll Four April Four Six Five. And you have to buy. You have to buy Lethality Wrecker Armor Plating and Chronos. Add it to the list. Add it to the list. We're gonna switch to Team Deathmatch after this. We need faster matches. Oh boy, this is awkward. Do not like this. That was a huge burst heal. We get Grover? Yes, we do. Oh! Oh man. He's ulting for it. Gonna stall for a little bit longer, but if we don't get kills soon, then it's not happening. Beyond step, but so is Terminus. 
this really does not look good. TDM isn't cheating. Nowhere in the rules does it say that I can't play Team Deathmatch to make matches go by slightly faster. Oh, please. Okay, we actually defended that. Wow. Whew. Uh, more armor plating and max out Nimble. There we go. Gonna get some Veteran after that. Interesting to see Vatu go for Veteran 3 instead of Armor Plating 3. It's just weird that they're the same price when Veteran is so much less effective. Not just in terms of the scaling, but also because it's not DR. Really weird. Capture point spawning in <laughs> 100 more bits if you want Siege. Uh... Okay. Five, four, three. Oh. Two, Let's go. One, diminishing returns? Yeah, there are diminishing returns, I guess. For Vatu. Kind of forgot about that, but he's only using one DR card, so... I don't know. Alright, I'm gonna throw the ult out. First combo, wombo, combo the Grover. Come back here. There we go. Alright, no more healer for you guys. Get the Makoa. And use this. There we go. I'm gonna throw the spirit trap up there just in case. Alright. Just one shot, that's alright. I'm gonna throw another spirit trap there. We'll just wait it out for the time being. Eevee's going around. I'm gonna let the others chase that because I'm not exactly mobile enough to catch up. There we go, gotcha. Stab away at Vatu. I'm gonna chase him back here. Burst, burst, burst. Yes, good. Uh, maybe I can get Grover as well. If my weapon would actually work. There we go. Really hope we can push this in. We went from almost being pushed to now gracefully capturing the point. Really good sign for our chances here. And I think I can make it up here. Yeah, let's go. I really like that buff for Kasumi. I think that's super cool. I'll throw another mine there. Just in case they push me. They're not really going that far, though. Hello. Alright, I'm going, Makoa. You can stay up there. Ah, the mines just didn't detonate. I think he destroyed it. The mines just aren't useful unless you're playing on the ground, but even then it's rough. Uh, does it hurt your revenue if people on Twitch are using an ad blocker? I don't actually know. Also, in my experience... I mean, I don't really... Okay, I guess I've only ever really used, like, one ad blocker, and that's the one for Opera GX, but that one doesn't even block ads on Twitch. It's like, what ad blocker are you using that blocks Twitch? Because <laughs> that sounds pretty nice. Twitch is, like, the only place I see ads on the internet. It's really weird. But yeah, it's not like it, you know, it's not like I'm going to notice it at the end of the day. Like, <laughs> ad revenue is not the bulk of the revenue coming from Twitch. It is pretty nice, like, I get... I don't know how much I get every time I stream. It does kind of vary depending on the view count, but, you know. <laughs> like, each individual viewer is probably... One or two cents tops. It's not that much. Unblock Origin blocks Twitch. Oh. Yeah, I just have the built-in one from Opera GX. Which, I think it's very cool that it comes with the built-in ad block, but yeah, it's... It's always only ever not worked on Twitch, so... Throwing the mine out. Ah. Which, by the way, not sponsored, I guess I should clarify. Although I wish they would. I would do a banger Opera GX sponsorship. So if anyone knows a guy who knows a guy who knows a guy over at Opera GX that wants to give me some money to show their product, I'm right here. <laughs> I'll do it. I do have ads, yeah. <laughs> is your Opera ad blocker better than mine? Also, is it Opera or Opera GX? Because mine is GX. Some regions have more ads than others. That might also be true, depending on the region. But yeah, I definitely have ads on. Let me check my homepage. Uh, stream manager. There's going to be an ad in four minutes. Get ready. Ooh. Capture point spawning in 15 seconds. Opera GX, huh? Yeah, I don't know, maybe it's a region thing. 
Or maybe you're lucky. Five, four, three. Uh, two, right, veteran. Forgot one. I was gonna get that. Yes. <laughs> I know, no, 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 a guy who had a wife, who had a child, who knew a guy, who has a brother, who has a great great grandparent, who knew a guy. Wow, that's pretty cool. Alright. Probably not the best to burst combo Makoa like that. It hit Grover too, though. Eh. Alright, how about I just transfer marks to Eevee and take her out instead? No, she got the Grover ult. This is so bad for our chances. Uh, running away. Bring mine. Oh, the marks ran out. I couldn't burst heal. That's so tragic because the shield was in the way. Okay. This is really not good. He's ulting. Probably not going to get a kill with that, but at least we're still in the fight right now. Shin just needs to be very careful because things are a bit sketch behind. On Geno's there. Okay, good. Leon's dead. I know when I was with my girlfriend in France, she'd constantly get a lot more ads than I ever do in Portugal. Yeah. That makes sense. I mean, I guess, I don't know, I didn't quite expect Portugal to be a place that doesn't have super crazy ads. But, <clears throat> yeah. I know also for, like, regions of the world, like, I don't know, the Middle East, for example, you also get a lot fewer ads than if you're in the USA. Which, fun fact, I live in America. I don't know if you could tell by my accent, or by the time I stream, or the fact that I use Eastern Time to broadcast when I'm streaming, or anything like that, but, uh, yeah. Common French L. True. <laughs> Oops, hello. Here, take this random mine that you don't actually need. Oops, Grover's up here. Okay. Careful. I have an ultimate. I can maybe throw that out. Or I could just throw damage on Mako. Alright, we're throwing it there. That should kill. Leon, yes. And we kill him through the Grove Rolt because of Cauterize. Let's go. Triple kill. Oh, this is the Kasumi carry. We're just going to roll this through. Zvatu, try and touch. Or we just skate on by. There we go. GG's. Nice. Thought you were African. Thought you were British, Russian. Yes. <laughs> right. No, I don't still play Sea of Thieves. I haven't gotten on that game in probably over a year. Here, let me check. Sea of Thieves. Last played October 22nd, 2023. But I believe that was just me testing the game. Because October 22nd was whereabouts when I was fixing an issue with my CPU and was testing if games would crash, and I tested Sea of Thieves. But I didn't actually play Sea of Thieves, so it's been even longer than that. Alright. Yo, 16 kills. Kasumi actually being pretty strong. Let's go. Alright, it's TDM time. We got a speed run. We're going to Shaolin. Gotta use the Omega skin. Heck yeah. Bam, Shaolin. there you go. Ooh, and the shark. Good boy, Brody. Come here, Brody. Yes. Alright, modify the queue. We gotta clear these out, because I got pizza to go eat soon. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven games. Can y'all find someone else to fill the party? I'm out. Oh, no, we lost someone. Okay. Uh, if someone wants to join quickly, say your name in the chat. There's no amount on TDM, though. Yeah, that's a bit awkward. <laughs> I remember watching one of your Sea of Thieves videos. Not just one of my Sea of Thieves videos. My only Sea of Thieves video. Shadius, you have watched every single Sea of Thieves video that I have ever made. I think that's pretty cool. <laughs> it was a fun video, though. I've had my, I've had my fun with that game. But, I mean, I grinded all the uh, syndicates or whatever to max. Not syndicates, what are they called? I call them syndicates because that's the Warframe term. Factions? Whatever? I grinded them to the max at the time. I thought I heard they raised it recently. But, uh, yeah, then I just felt like I didn't really have much else to do. I, I could have grinded a bunch of gold for the absurdly ridiculous cosmetics, but I just didn't feel like it. And, you know, going on adventures is fun, but I don't know. Just didn't really feel like it. Because a lot of times there's also, like, 
you know, a lot of time spent in that game is just traveling between islands with nothing really happening. So... Pizza party, heck yeah. I get ads even if I'm VIP, I thought VIP ever counter it. Team nah, 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 nah. If... <laughs> that would be heavily abusable. Can you imagine a Twitch streamer giving everybody VIP so they don't have to watch ads? Of course, then the Twitch streamer would make no money, but also they wouldn't have to watch ads. Or I guess they would just, uh... Maybe the mods control a streamer by making them all VIPs. It'd be more like a mod strolling thing. It wouldn't be in the streamer's best interest to do that. But still. Shalin. Shalin. Put on some Gaming. Fancy duds. Everyone get the thinnest slice like elementary school will be doing. Ah, yes. <laughs> yeah. Man, I don't know about anybody else, but... Protection I remember school pizza activated. being nasty. It, it was square cut for some reason. Literally just cheese and sauce. You'd be lucky to get a pepperoni. It was just... It's kind of like cardboard. It's gross. Maybe I went to the wrong school. <laughs> American school lunches. They're not very good. Square's big, great pizza cut, though. I do not like square cut. I'm a classic triangle guy. Especially if you have, like, the small squares, where you don't actually get a piece of the crust to grab onto. And then you just have to get your fingers, like, extra dirty, grabbing just the raw toppings or whatever. I don't like that. Alright, let's go. Shaolin Gaming and Team Deathmatch. I see Eevee somewhere. How about we burst Ying first? Oh, you are so lucky. That Koga's unlucky. Man, what is with me in accidentally killing Koga players? That happened in a recent video, too. Was it the... It wasn't the Shaolin video, was it? It was... Might have been the Fernando video. Just kept accidentally sniping Koga. <laughs> oh, we hit those flicks. Let's go. I'm so good at Shaolin. I'm so happy that I can say that now, and I'm actually, like, serious. I'm not being ironic. My Shaolin really is just a success for the story. It shows that you can improve at any character, even if they're your worst character. Because Shaolin used to be my worst DPS. Now he's one of my best. Ooh, oh my gosh, I'm getting, like, pounced on by the Eevee, which I don't mind. But <laughs> making me miss the shots because I'm, like, screen shaking. Ugh. Where's that Koga? There he is, 1300. He dodged it. And he didn't know what was up. All right, I'm going to do this. Pop ult. Grab that. Now we have double ult. There we go. Got the terminus. And then guess what? You thought I was done? Nope. <laughs> I'm going again. Ooh, hello. Oh, man. Eevee got me. All right. Well played. I forgot to buy items. Let me do that real quick. Boom. I am two of the three deaths. Maybe I'm still bad at Shaolin. Oh, no. Huge sand trap. Get both those kills. Yes. Nice. Let me pop that. Rapid shot. There's the double kill. And triple kill. Uh... Oh, quadra kill. Wait, I can still get a penta. Nah, no penta. We spawned too far away, honestly. Oh, there we go. Got you, though. Boom. Let's go. I'm going to back up slightly because Eevee's here. Sniped. Double kill. There we go. Gotcha. Oh, I missed that. Crap. Alright. Might be too far in right now. Get that kill, though. Double kill. Hello. Please, stop. Boom. Alright, he's dead. Oh, yeah, she blocked all that. Well played. More life rip. I show off, calm down. <laughs> but I need kills. I need all the kills. Where are they going? Oh, boy. Oh, I'm going to pop ult. Around the side. Ooh, the wall was in the way. Hold on. Ooh, okay. Fair enough. What is she doing over here? Alright, she's just gone. Double kill. 
Oop, he dodged it. Triple kill, there we go. Quadra kill. Can I get a penta? Anybody want to give me a penta? Ah, oh, no, man. I don't even remember the last time I've gotten a penta kill. I get so many quads, but I can never convert them into a penta, because I'm always just so unlucky with where the enemies position themselves. <laughs> All right, well, there we go. How many kills did I get? 22, heck yeah. Popping off, carrying the game. Shaolin Gaming. All right, let's go again. Uh, up next, Tyra. Okie dokie. I actually should probably double check some of these requests to make sure I'm not missing builds. Let me scroll down. Down, down, down. Uh, burn monster Tyra, okay. I actually don't remember where the Shaolin request came from. Oh, okay, there it was. Yeah, I didn't have to do a build for that, but I do have to play burn monster. And then the Knessa was the silly tracer build. And then... Uh, then it was, yeah, then it was the randomizers, which I definitely have to look for. What happened? Oh, someone left. Okay, we have another space in the party if anyone wants to join. So, please, just say your name in the chat. I remember when Shaw was Angie's worst damage champ. Where did the time go? Yep. I am I'm so proud of the training. Oh my gosh, two people left the party. Everyone's leaving. Please, someone join me. Don't make me so lonely. Anybody? Bye-bye. Okay. Everyone's just, uh, everyone's just gone. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> very funny. Kami vs. Raven Trick. Who's on my friends list that's online right now? Hmm. Z1 stream. <coughs> Excuse me, streaming. Oh boy. Ah, I haven't had as much of the weird no stuff today, but then it just flared up right there. Ugh. See people asking for a minute to join. How about I just play one and then I'll invite people after this next match? Because we got to keep things rolling here. Hmm. Yeah, not home. Yeah. <clears throat> I guess, yeah. We are having a later stream, but that is still very much a possibility for people. At least in America. Jeez, it's midnight in Europe. <laughs> Ooh. Well, if I Paladins doesn't have FOMO, I can come back whenever I want. Yeah, that's true. The only thing you really miss out on is an event pass. But those usually come back in chests after a few years. And then possibly some balance changes if you want to abuse something that's busted. Right? 1 a.m. Yep. I mean, geez, it's what, like, f 11 at the earliest, if you're in Portugal or something, I think. Assuming I know the time zones properly, I mean, we did the chime change a little bit ago, and that usually makes things really screwy. Let me check. Because I have... Team Deathmatch. It's time on my to clock, some places saved. Yeah, it's 11 in London, it's 12 in Frankfurt. So, yep, I'm right on the money. I always usually just add six hours to get, like, the median European time, because that's, like, German time. And that's, you know, pretty much smack dab in the middle of the continent. So, you know, plus or minus one or two hours. What am I doing again? Oh, yeah, Tyra, right. Tyra. Put on some fancy Burn monsters. So let's play hot skin. Like the this one. Calls. This one's pretty hot. Like literally hot. Her hair is on fire. Someone please help her. I don't think that's normal. What watch are you rocking? I forget the name of it. It's an Invictus. It wasn't actually super expensive, and it was also a gift for my mom this Christmas. So it's nice though. I like it. Very clean. All right, burn monster, uh, monster, burn monster. Speak English, please. 
Five, uh, this four, is my fire belt. I don't three, remember what this is. Two, one. Oh, it's a bit silly, is what it is. Now go. Okay. Uh, I I've not played Burn Monster in so long, so I probably need to update that build, honestly. All right, there's some fire. Yeah, hello. That's awkward. I'm very dead. Okay. Uh, I'm also not playing DR Tyra, so I probably need to get some Haven at some point. Or armor plating, whatever it's called. Why did that grenade do no damage? That was so small. She doesn't have... Yeah, she doesn't have Arcane. That's weird. Oh, okay. Oh, there we go. Gotcha. I'll throw fire at Buck. There we go. Gotcha. Ah. Uh, that Buck is just... He's gonna rule this map. It's a perfect spot for him to bounce around. Alright, light you up. Throw fire at the ash. I'm dead again. <laughs> Every time this buck jumps on me, I'm dead. And there's pretty much nothing I can do about it because I'm playing the wrong build. Oh, I thought she was gonna dash. Well, she is dashing. Alright, well, how about I just try that? Yeah, that doesn't actually send me off the map. Huge damage to buck. He's won. Someone shoot him. No, man, he's just gonna live that. Are you kidding me? Throw fire there. Kill Ray. I'm dead again. Unless... Yeah, alright. Man, Buck. What are you gonna do, man? Oh, that missed. He was so low. Fire. That helps. So low once again. I can get the mark on him. With the mark, I do 88 damage per shot. That is crazy amounts of DR. 77 damage a shot. Alright, got him. Fire. I wish that crippled, man. They should bring back the cripple to burn monster. I'm dead serious. I didn't even like it when it was removed at the time. Still don't like it. Feels like burn monster is just kind of useless. Hello. Here, take this. Here, take this so you don't chase me. Actually, coming around the other way. Okay. Oh, gotcha. Uh, grenade? Ha! I win! I have a ray pocket! Yes! Wind up OP! Also, not gonna lie, I didn't realize we had a Talus. No! Oh, crap! 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 I'll buy a bit of Sentinel. There we go. I fed that so hard. Oh, he's one, he's one, he's one. Got him. He's pretty low, too. There we go, got her. Throw fire on Buck. Ah! If anything, I need them to nerf Burn Monster. That's a skill issue, my friend. If we're, uh, putting it bluntly. Because, uh, Nimble exists, Lethality exists, Movement abilities exist. Like, I get that there's not really that much DR against it, apart from Arcane Warding, which you can also buy, by the way. Arcane Warding does exist. Very real counter to Burn Monster. <laughs> but, like... Yeah. You can just walk out of it. Like, seriously. At least when it has a cripple, there's a chance that you're actually forced to stay inside of the fire for more than a millisecond. Right? Right. And you know, it also has that cauterize effect, but that's kind of useless because of passive cauterize, so it's not really reason to pick the talent either. It's a little bit of extra cauterize early game, I suppose, but that's not really super helpful. GG used to mean to snipe, but GG. Wait, you sniped? Oh, you were on my team! Oh, hi. <laughs> Sorry, I just kind of played that match on autopilot. Yeah, GG's. Alright, let's invite some people now. We have two spaces in the party for anyone who wants to join. When you're ta playing tank and she throws that at your feet at half health, it's annoying. Yeah, but again, run away from it. You have movement abilities. If it crippled, then you'd have to be more careful. You'd have to use your defense abilities. Maybe you'd actually have a reason to buy arcane warding. You know? Like, Burn Monster really is not an issue. It's her weakest talent by a long shot. Alright. Uh, we'll invite some new people who haven't been in the party yet instead. So we'll invite those two. There we go. Six more characters to play to end stream. Yes, we got a speed run. 
speed run these team death matches. Here we go. Actually, five more characters. Because we've got... We just did the Tyro match. So, Kinesa, two Randomizer, two Omen. We can do it! We can end stream and I can go eat my pizza. Possibly before the five hour mark. <laughs> yes! Yay, my Tracer Kinesa build is next. Finally! Shadius, you've waited like three hours for this. <laughs> Let's go! Oh my goodness. Alrighty. Team Tracer. And, pick the best one. and I suppose to match, we will be dogs. orange. Kinesa. Because Tracer is orange. Does she have a skin where she wears a beanie? I don't know, but... You know what? This is the closest to Tracer vibes we can get. It's going to be very weird on this map. I mean, this is a terrible sniper map, so it almost kind of makes sense to go Tracer Nessa here, but it's still not very good. I mean, if we didn't win with Tyra last match, I doubt we'll win with Kinesa this match, because Carbine Nessa is just straight out of worse in pretty much every metric apart from mobility. It's just business, kid. But Tracer is white? Yeah, but so? <laughs> I guess Kinesa has one white skin, but that skin's more serious. Like, that skin's almost further from Tracer than this one. Because this one's just, it's kind of cute, kind of casual. Like Tracer. Her Christmas skin has a beanie. Ah, well, there you go, Erlemeyer. Perfect. Yeah, that, yeah, that, uh, that crossover skin is more like Widowmaker. Both in color scheme and in how serious it is. I would have liked to join the party, but since I haven't played for a while, I wouldn't want to make you lose games or time. Nah, I... Never worry about that. Unless it's the horse limited time mode. In which case, uh, <laughs> we kicked bottom frags until we finally won. Uh, <clears throat> but yeah, no. I, I am not picky. The only time it's really a problem is when someone's on a smurf account or just a really low level account. And then it skews the matchmaking and we end up stomping noobs. I never want to do that. What are we waiting on? I'm going to take a shot in the dark and say Talus is the one who hasn't loaded in. Or maybe Tiberius. Oh, it's so hard to tell with these borders. They might both be not loading in for all I know. What rank are you in Horse LTM? Uh, probably Bronze considering my win rate. I did have a really low win rate. I had a red wall in that mode. But I've won most of my games in custom games when I played the horse. So I don't really know. Here, I'm okay. And Jeez, even the loading screen is making me waste time. Uh, we're gonna do the... Oh, which one was it? Was it this one? Yeah, it was this one. Calibrate, ammo, max health. Five, and we do... Four, three, two, yeah, let's do some nimble. One. Gotta get the movement speed Wait, of Tracer as well. Get that strafe speed going. Alright, like it's time to trace. <laughs> It's tracing time. We're going to trace all over these enemies. Let's go. Ooh, Azan's low. Nice. There we go. Gotcha. Ooh, it looks like Tiberius was the one who didn't load in because he is AFK. Basically a bot. Hello. I thought he was going to punch me off the map, but he didn't. Pause and reloading. Stop it. Uh, I need a heal. Oh, thank you. Appreciate it. Got that extra ammo. Oh, but he healed himself. Wait, I have ult. Yes. Infinite ammo. Go. Boom. Dead. Yes. That ammo card is so nice for this playstyle. Better than the speed card, because the speed card is honestly jarring when it starts and ends, because it's so abrupt. But this just gives you just enough ammo to actually do things. Oh, am I... Got stuck by his on there. Alright, blast away at Pip. Man, the inaccuracy is kind of bad, though. Alright. Oh, you know what? I also need death hands. What am I doing? Because Tracer has a really quick reload, doesn't she? Okay, here. Let me buy death hands. Death hands one. Gotta take advantage of the Fury ult. Go! Yes, kill the bot. Kill the Pip. Victor fell off the map. No, I'm dead. 
Alright, get the mines out. Whoa, how did I kill Zahn? I guess the mine killed him. Oh, 24 HP. Furia. Oh, thank you, Furia, so much. Oh, okay. Uh, TP. Just gonna ult. There we go. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yes, stiff is on. There we go. Huge. Hello. It's me, Tracer. <laughs> there we go. Huge. Uh, probably dead. Probably dead. Probably dead. Yep. More death hands. Ooh, Talus is really low. Yes, he's dead. No stun. Stop. Oh, hello. Ah, crap. <laughs> Big pulse bomb. All right. <laughs> Huge pulse! Puck Duck wins again, and no one Might be able to play with Andrew if I'm in you. It's always a risk if you're coming from another server that's not an A. You really just have to judge that for yourself, whether the ping is acceptable. If you know you get like 150, 200 ping on NA, it's probably not worth it. Alright, GG's. I mean, they had a bot, which sucks, but, you know... Still, Tracer Canessa. Kind of worked. Heck yeah. Let's keep it moving. We gotta actually take a randomizer build up next. So the first one was Big Game Cassie. I haven't played Cassie in a while. Okay, so we have Raise 1. Excitement 2. Uh, oh, this background music is horrendous. Onslaught 2. There it is. Fatal Sign 5, Onslaught 5. Wait. You said Onslaught twice, bloody heck. Bloody heck, are you here? Because <laughs> I see two Onslaughts. What am, I, what am I supposed to do? That's goofy. Uh, Fatal Sign 5. Oh my gosh, this is a card? I had no idea that was a card. Increase reload speed by 60% after getting an elimination? I mean, at least it scales to 60, right? Yeah, I kind of did stop playing Cassie when I start, started playing Shaw. But also, Cassie's just worse than Shaw, so that's part of it, too. I saved it? Okay, bloody heck. Yeah, you're going to need to clarify this for me. Because we are missing a card. We also have to buy Rejuve, Sentinel, Armor Plating, and Arcane Warding. Wow, so we're just becoming a tank. Sounds good. Blast Shower 5. Okay. Well, at least we get some cooldown reduction there. Very goofy build, though. That reload speed is going to be so weird. But, I mean, I guess it seems interesting. I don't know. <laughs> At least I don't need Master Riding, right? <laughs> Randomizer didn't give me an item that I can't buy because we're playing TDM now. Yeah, Cassie's okay if you can aim. I mean, she can definitely still carry lobbies and stuff. But she's not exactly meta. Because I guess when it comes to being an anti-flank and a good duelist, other DPS like Shaolin are just better. And then when it comes to tank pressure, she's also not the best. And then her highest skill, highest Team reward playstyle damage. exaction gets completely shut down by shields, champion. which sucks a lot. Because, you know, you're doing your roll dice. stuff, and then you just accidentally hit a shield, and you're screwed. And I don't like it. It kind of sucks. I, I wish that wasn't the case. But yeah. Hmm. She does need a bit of an aim requirement, and if you can aim pretty well, yeah, she's not exactly, like, trash either, but especially if you look at win rates, she hasn't exactly been a high performer for a while now. Exaction, the only way to play a Cassie. I usually play Impulse, because I don't feel like sweating when I play Cassie. Like, to me, I've always just kind of played Cassie to, you know, relax and just shoot things, because it's very satisfying. But yeah, Exaction's very fun, too. I just, I always kind of shy away from it, because of, yeah, shields. They suck, you know? Although it'd be really cool to play Exaction here, because they have Yag. I am playing big game, I guess that's also going to be pretty good against her, because she has no shield. <laughs> we went from trash dubstep to very funky music. I mean, I guess this is an improvement. Max HP, Vet Haven, Unstoppable. Yeah, she, she has a good amount of health, too, with the card. 
When the card's not bugged to have 5 HP. Oh, come on. What are we waiting on? Oh, it's Wiro, Wiro. Please, stop holding the game up. My pizza's gonna be cold by the time we're done. <laughs> Please. Oh, yeah, let me fix the uh, queue. Here, let me just make it look small. Get the randomizer game out. Now we only have three left. Yes. Can you carry with Rom? Oh, it is very difficult to carry with Rom. He's still arguably the worst tank in the game right now. <laughs> Kick Wiro for holding the game up. Yes. Discriminate against the seven player. Nah. Seems like his internet went out or something. I don't know. He's not messaging in chat. Ban Wiro! Ban the seven mains from my chat. Don't worry, guys. I know CBR. Alright, uh, here we go. Big game, randomizer, and I have my choice of tanky items. I probably want armor plating arcane warding up first. Actually, I could Five, do armor plating sentinel. Four, sure, let's do sentinel. Defense, two, is a good yeah, he's a bot. Defense. I'm not no, thinking no. of Rejuve too much, because with Solar Blessing, I don't think I need Rejuve for the beam. And then the right click is so inter Remember, intermittent. It's inter intermittent. Yes, that's how you say that. That. Ah, crap. That I just don't think it's worth it if I read you for it. Did I seriously just die trying to get to the freaking beam, dude? Ugh. Alright. Well. Uh, she's just gone. She doesn't want to fight me, it seems. Okay. Well. Wow, I forgot how to aim at Pip. Also, he was pretty evasive, to be fair. There we go, got him. I'm dead. I got the only kill, though! Let's go! I actually kind of have to carry, because we have a bot, so... Let me stand up in the chair. Or sit up in the chair, rather. And... Try and do some stuff. Ooh, yikes, that's only 700 damage a shot to Yag. That's pretty bad. Oh, please, I need a heal. Healer, please, thank you. Boom. Diffed. Oh, yeah, it got in the way. Okay. Oh, we got that reload speed, though. Heck yeah. It's like I have Ray on my team. That's so goofy. I guess the idea is it helps you snowball. Because you'll often need to reload after getting a kill. Oh, man, this pip. Please. Okay. Uh, bot's dead. Here, I'll do the joke just once. Wait, it's not even working. Boom, gotcha. Saved! Yes! I'm gonna go over here. Pop the ult. Uh, she just does more damage than me. That's crazy. Really wish I could buy Life Rip. I think that would be super helpful. Oh, oh, dude, Kasumi does so much damage. That is ridiculous. Let me get Arcane Warding as well. That would have helped versus the ultimate if I actually had it in time. Okay, I do not want to be in here. Eevee, get back. Oh, he actually lived. He was one. Oh, man. Oh, they are just all over me. Please, can I catch a break? Oh my gosh, dude, they're all hard focusing me. <laughs> we all respawned so far away. I'm the only one who lived. And I just die. Get dogpiled, man. Ooh, she was low. I'm glad the card's also on healing and not kill. At least it's at least somewhat consistent in that regard. Ooh. Bad at hitting shots, but there we go. We got her. Huge reload speed, actually letting me get the kill there. Let's go, pop ult. Get the bonus damage out in here, get the beam. Yes! Yo, that reload speed card is insane. Ooh, come back here. Let me hit the big game. Yeah, it's just body blocking for Kasumi because the hallway is so small. Ah, I need a heal. Ah, crap. All right, let me get the lingering beam effect for a sec. Oh, huge diff. Bah! More items. We're still gone, by the way. I don't know what happened to him. 
think his power went out or internet went out or something. I still don't see a message from him in the chat. How come someone picked Point Tank and TDM? Oh yeah, we have Barrack, don't we? I was about to say, what are you calling Yag a Point Tank? No, I didn't realize we have Barrack. <laughs> Oops. Oh, please heal me! Thank you! Popple! Come on, burst Yag. Ah, oh, man. I do not like my positioning. I'm probably dead. Yeah. Man. This is just a slaughter. We have a bot. I'm playing a randomized build. It's not actually that good. I was trolling when I said the reload speed card was good. It's not. Oh. Oh, God. Cut the video. Just cut it. Ah, well, at least we only have one randomizer request to go, and then it's just Omen. Uh, what was the second randomizer? Okay, Focus Ray. We'll do that real quick. Hello? Did my game crash? Oh, it froze for a sec. I got top kills, but yeah, Bot Wero. 15 deaths. Oof. Bot 7 is trash. Alright, uh, well we have actually two spaces in the party for anyone who wants to join, so just say your name in the chat if you want to join. I will invite. Delta Sapphire. And Shadiest. There you go. Have invites. And let's make this build. So, Ray. Ray. Uh, alright. We need... Mystic Mastery 1. This one. Laypori Prayer 2. Enveloping Magic 3. Which one is that? Oh, all the way over here. Okay, that's a weird card to have at level 3. Midnight Stroll 4. Heck yeah. And Ico Force is 5. Oh, it's like a DR build. Is what the randomizer is spat out. Or is that not a randomizer build, actually? It didn't necessarily say it was a randomizer build, but it's worded like a randomizer build. Either way, uh, we'll call it a randomizer build. And we have to buy Lethality, Wrecker, Armor Plating, and Kronos. Okie dokie pokie. Let's go. Oh, it was. Okay, good. Yeah, I'm surprised it spat out something somewhat coherent. Mostly damage reduction oriented build. Probably going to play it like Damage Ray, so our team is going to want a second support. I will not be a good solo support for you. We also, I guess, have to hope that they have a shield tank so that Wrecker is actually good. Or we just skip it and we buy Armor Plating, Kronos, and Lethality, because that's probably going to be the biggest credit sink anyways. Probably won't even have enough credits for Wrecker at the end. Here we go. Team Deathmatch. Ray! At least it's Put a very small map for her. Fancy duds. We'll play the Moji Let's skin since we're playing... On. Actually, no, both of them are damage champions. Uh, we'll play the Moji skin anyways. What the heck? Switch it up. Last time I played Leon. I really do like these skins. They're so cute. I mean, really just... <laughs> we, we haven't had too many just silly skins like that recently, so I'm so happy that they've actually done that. Body hack. No. 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 Why would you do that? Oh, yeah. <sighs> okay. <laughs> uh. Vigilance result. Ooh, well, they do have two shield tanks for me, but that's not exactly what I was hoping to see. Torvald on Throne. Oh, and I can't buy Sentinel either, and they're totally going to go for knockback kills. Yikes. Well, we're just going to have to diff them before they throw us all off the map. At least Willow will be fine. But yeah, I'll probably... I probably will actually start with Wrecker. And then go into Armor Plating. I think those are the two most important things I can buy right now. Oh, Gordon's is also good. I really so just... Nice I need to buy so you many things. Want me to go over there? All right, the Wrecker. Alone? Uh, is that... Uh, no, of you know what? It's probably not worth it. Perfect. 
Because I'm not a super huge four, shield buster. I'll go armor plating three, instead. Two, one. Ray wins. Ray wins wars of attrition. Ray wins wars of attrition. That was hard to say for some reason. So yeah, I think we'll skip on the wrecker. All right, there's the link on Sky. And ooh, she got healed. So did I. Bask in the beam of glory. Hello. Okay. More bounces. There's that. And dead. Huge. Alright. Pop more heals through. Guess I'll link Ash. So much just free damage, and she dies. Alright, perfect. Uh, Kronos won. Why not? More links. There we go. Cheesed. I want a Ray Diff. Hello. She doesn't even know I'm shooting her. Okay. <laughs> Delta! Alright. Strange things are happening. Oh man, I'm actually... I'm actually more used to the horse. Why did this hit me that way? Okay. But I'm actually so used to the horse that these projectiles feel too slow now. The horse actually does have faster projectiles. They feel better to use, honestly. Maybe they should buff race projectile speed. When they do all those link nerfs that we were talking about earlier. Alright, I'm not chasing that. That would be very stupid of me. There we go, got the sky. Alright, let me pop that. Pop this, I guess. Pop that. Got the beam. Oh, that just feels mean. <laughs> just live all that. So strong. There we go. Good. Link Grot, he's dead. Whoa, hello. Buy more items. We are slaughtering these guys. Thankfully, because they have Torvald. And he could just as easily do the same to us. Oh, come on. Yes, 86 HP. We live this. Literally would not have won that if I didn't have armor plating. Alright. Oh, I got the beam. That's just unfair. Come back here. Good. Alright, we're good. Put the link on him. Hope he doesn't ghost walk. Oh, no. Oh, he's looking for it. I knew he was going to do it. I couldn't get out of the way. Crap. Alright, more Kronos. There we go. Blast Torvald. There's that. Let me link you. There we go. Hi. Uh. Oh, she is so low. Yes, good. Do not make me ult. Oh, you silenced me. Thank you, Furia. Pop envelop. I'm basically like a second tank. It is actually so crazy. Hello. <laughs> this ray is a bit clueless. Alright. Uh... Ah, stop killing me. There we go. Good. Get that ash and that's GG. Finally, he agrees on it. It was pointless reducing her projectile speed. <laughs> Oh, they did that? I forgot about that. Yeah. They should totally buff it back. I mean, they don't even do that much damage in the first place, so I don't know why they have to be so slow. But yeah, we got 12 kills there. <laughs> uh, damage Ray. And now, there are two. Two whole requests, and then I get to go eat my pizza. We're actually going to be down to the wire. I don't know if we're going to end off... Before five hours or not, really depends on how fast these next few matches are in terms of the cues, the loading, the gameplay. How do you feel about Envelop doing Team damage when she has in melee range to the enemy? It's Honestly, it should do more damage. Because it is a melee attack, and barely anyone knows about it. It would actually be cool if that was a serious thing you could play around, but you can't. It's basically pointless. It does nothing! The name's Put on some fancy dust. Also, I believe I have to play more, more, more at level 5 for Aha! this. I don't have to play Umbral, do I? Please tell me I don't have to play Umbral.
Okay, no Umbral. Thank goodness. Erlmeyer's not that mean. <laughs> yeah, more, more, more five trigger set. Right, so, trying to get the maximum damage buff possible. Now, Erlmeyer, have you tested to see if it has diminishing returns or not? Because I actually don't think it would. Because <clears throat> the way I'm thinking about it is... <clears throat> It's not a conditional damage buff, right? In the same way that Fuselot is, or Trigger Scent is. Like, I'm pretty sure it increases his damage before any other calculations, so I don't think it would have diminishing returns. Yeah, it doesn't. Okay, that's what I thought. Which is good, that's intuitive. Let's yeah, Ray hugged the enemy to kill them. <laughs> kind of like an off brand version of, uh... <laughs> oh my gosh. What is my nose doing? Ah. Yeah, that's sick. Ugh. Excuse me. I'm sorry, chat. I can't. Sp <laughs> I actually can't speak. What is this? Oh god! Wait, did I get rid of the build? I got rid of the build, didn't I? Where am I? No. I got rid of the build. Okay, we'll do four, and then I will rectify that mistake. Uh, next match. Sorry. <laughs> I thought I had it. I had it at one point. I don't know where it went. Honestly, I wouldn't mind if Ray hugged me to death, but that's beside the point. It would be cool if, uh, yeah, Envelope just... <laughs> if Envelope just did that. Alright, wind up the damage. That's 533 on Azan there. And that range. Grippy, grippy. Oh, she's gone. Alright, throw that down. Remember the animation cancel. I wish I could up with that, Genos, but the wall's in the way. Okay, there we go. That does feel pretty good. In the damage front, we can upgrade to Trigger Scent 2. There we go. I am not doing three games of Omen. No. More 4 is close enough. And... Oh my gosh! Guys! The trail damage was just useful there! Did you see that? He died to the trail! That never happens! Oh my gosh! I can't believe it. That is the first time in Paladin's history the trail has done anything useful. <laughs> Wow! Oh my gosh, I thought someone was coming, but it was just my trail being loud as crap. It sounds like an enemy sound effect, but it's just my trail. Alright, I'm throwing it back. Throwing him into it. Huge damage, and dead. Nice. 53% damage amp, and somehow still not enough for him to be good. Yeah. It's a good thing Trigger Scent didn't exist when Omen had the Umbral Lance more combo from back on release. That would have been objectively overpowered. Ah, ah, ah. Is she resonance? Oh, she is. Oh, crap. There was nothing I could have done about that. This is reasonably close. I've gotten a good amount of kills, but I am also a third of our deaths. Well, a fourth of our deaths. Maths. Ah! tried to stop my momentum. I did not, in fact, stop my momentum. Don't worry about it. Yay! Oh, okay. Whatever, bro. Uh, get me out of here. Jeez, like, at that range, half those pellets did, like, 80 damage with all the damage buffs. That is so sad. Got some nimble. Yeah, at least I got another game to redeem myself, I guess. Or something, I don't know. I believe she is running away from me. And for good reason, she's half. It doesn't matter, I do no damage. Wow, that was fast. Alright, let me get armor plating then. Jeez. Omen is weak. The inconsistent damage is just the worst. It really is. Alright, throw him into it. Aw, oh, huge. Two for two on that ult. Welcome to all time. Shoot, the ult is more reliable than the shotgun. Z, no! No, Z! Z! I've been streaming for so long. This was supposed to be the second to last match. And you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm sticking to my guns. I'm ending off after the last match anyways. But I really appreciate the raid, Z. Yeah, I know it's not long compared to what you normally do, but it's long for me, okay? And I am starving. 
We've been doing champion requests, and uh, chat went a bit overboard today. Whoa, stay over there. 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 Enemy is Crap. Just can't hold me down. For three dollars, you can redeem a champion. I'm gonna raise the price again. I will do it. Don't make me. I will eat my pizza. Might steal that idea. Oh, like uh, raising prices for champ requests or whatever. Crap! I couldn't get to the side in time. That was so unlucky. Oops. Okay. Yeah, I mean, you could do champ requests in ranked if you wanted. I guess you kind of already do that sometimes, but, yeah. The world is your oyster. Man, half those shots did less than 300 damage. I just wish the shotgun actually worked. Like how a normal paladin shotgun worked, rather than an actual shotgun. Omen shotgun is an actual shotgun, but it's trash, because the spread is too high. Yeah, me too. I wish they nerfed Omen without killing him. As much as I don't really care for this character, he did still have some cool stuff. Like the ultimate combo, and just the combo-based gameplay in general. And it's cool that we have a shotgun-based character, but the shotgun is just so bad in terms of its spread. But as soon as you kill the away to make it accurate by deleting Umber Lance, he's trash. Unless you want to chew through his on in close quarters like that. Ah, crap. Looks like we lose this game here. Uh, armor plating. There we go. Oh, she got a quad? Well, at least she's not going to get a penta. Just like me, I can never get a penta. I am the quad king. Because <laughs> I get no pentas. Because I'm always super unlucky. Void grip. Dead. I'm going to throw it back there. He walks into it. Double kill. Oh, no, but I fed. Hold on. We gotta stay alive. Let me group up with the team. Watch the flank! I void gripped him. Oh, but it doesn't matter. That sucks. And then there was one. One final match before I get to eat my pizza. And I have to put more at level 5 this time, because I forgot. I actually, I actually carried. I got 15 kills. Dang. The Leon just carried harder. She got 26. Wow. <laughs> the battle of the carries, but I was not good enough. I died 12 times, man. It's like, I carried, but I also threw. The name's you know? Chase. Okay, here. I'll make a level 5 more, more, more build. Coming in, level 2. More. Level 5. We'll do health. Level 5. Bit of range on the gravity vice. And... What else do I like? Trail distance? Sure. There we go. More five. Yeah. Not more six. That would be crazy. Okay. Final match. How was your horse level eight? What do you mean? I just played the horse game mode until level eight. There's a very good reason to do that, because if you get it to level eight, you get three separate titles. So you get horse and around, still horse and around, and enough horse and around. 10 minutes for 5 hours. Yeah, it's down to the wire. 12 minutes, actually, it says for me. Pretty close. Actually, I have different numbers. Hold on. I have a different number for the Twitch stats versus the actual time OBS says I've been streaming. OBS says I have 9 minutes left. Twitch says I have 12. Very weird. Horse is in the game till Friday. Team so, Deathmatch. enjoy it while you can. Let's get it All right, Omenlet. Kind of like an omelet, but Omenlet. I'll use the recolor of the skin. I don't know. They're kind of samey to me. Nah. The card is just not worth it to me after they changed it. You do more total damage output without it. Yeah, because the thing is, by nerfing your max ammo count, you nerf the amount of uptime you have on the long-range shots. And that's what really does the damage. So, yeah, you're absolutely right. It's really more that Umber Lance is gone, rather than more being the problem. Because with Umber Lance, you could run more and have, like, two ammo and it was still fine.
I use the card because it counters damage reduction. That's it. I like killing. Yeah, increase your damage to counter damage reduction. That is nice. But yeah. I mean, he just loses to Leon in terms of poke. She's probably gonna... <laughs> she's probably gonna carry again. I don't know if it's the same Leon from last match, but uh, yeah, I don't like our chances here. We do have two tanks, but I'm kind of worried that they'll just get farmed, to be honest. I don't know. I'm curious what Tier Furia is now. Me too. <laughs> I don't know. I have uh, stopped keeping track after the... Uh, I don't, even, I don't even know how many reworks they've done to tell you what rework I stopped counting at. Fast. So annoying. She just can't catch a break in the balance department. She must always get a rework. Every single patch, without fail. Some sort of buff, or nerf, or rework, or something. Five, four, What's the next tier list? Three, uh, I don't know. Two, yeah, that was sick. One. I'll think about Holy making no one go. sometime soon. I don't, I don't know. Let the legend come back to life. Definitely need to update my tier list, though. Because the last one had Omen in S tier. That was before all the nerfs. So he is definitely not S tier now. Dear God. Ooh, there we go. Sniper Omen. That extra bullet comes in to save the day. I'll throw that field there. That got stuck. I uh, just can't hit her. I'll throw that field there. There we go. Huge damage. Followed up by absolutely miserable damage. Oh boy. Goofy character. Let's see, Talos was over here. He TP'd. Got Ash. Ah, stop it. There we go. Gotcha. Oh, please. No. Alright, more trigger sets. Here he is here. Please. Yes. Wind down the damage. Stop it. Go back over there. Here, stay in the field. Here, let me dash into you, because that does damage, apparently. Fun fact. Oh, please, she's one. Yes. Okay. I need a healer. Should I get life rip? I guess I should. Because of my high damage output. Woo! He does still do a ton of damage. He packs a punch when you get up that close. Oop, I got stunned. Okay. That's bad! Yikes. Okay. He definitely took advantage of that. Oh boy. The damage, dude. What the heck? Uh. Okay. Stay over there, please. I need a healer. Where's my healer, dude? Uh getting farmed right now. I'm half the team's death, so why do I die so much with this character? Probably because I have to get right up close and personal like that. More likely for Talos to kill me. Or Koga, or whoever. That seriously did not kill him. Gosh. Alright, let me send that up over the wall. And then see if I can throw somebody into it. Yeah, throw Ash into it. Ooh. She didn't take damage. Must have just expired. Alright, throw that down. I got all my ammo. And shredded. Yeah, I think we can win this game here. Hopefully. Ooh, I don't want to get stunned, though. Stop that! <laughs> 900! 450! Nothing! Alright, trigger sent 5. Come on, Andrew, say it! Ah! Oh, yeah! There you go. Ooh, Skydiff. Let's go. Zarini put Grok as the third best support, which is a very curious choice. Yeah, that's a bit silly in my opinion. And I am a Grok enthusiast, but I wouldn't even do that. Here, take this and stay over there. And I'm going to wait for a heal. Thank you. Oop. Oh, yes! We killed him. Huge. There we go. Gotcha. Alright. No void grip for me. Let me throw that down. Just try and shred this ash. Void grip. There we go. Dead. 
Oh, oh, that was so close, Genos. Phew. Uh, let's do life rip two. I'll wait for life rip three, just for funsies. <laughs> Don't forget the damage amp from the grip. Wait, that amplifies my damage? I thought if I shot them with the ominous brand, I would get the rifle mood, right? Does it buff the damage too? I forget. You know, he's got one of the simpler kits for a character over the past few years, but he still has so much bloat with that passive. Like, did you know that the, uh, the little gourd thing he puts on the ground technically slows? If you shoot them while they're in it? Very easy to forget. Here, I'm gonna throw this down, and then I want her to back up. Oh, why did I barely throw her? Did she get unbound? She did not. Wait, what? Why did that not throw her? That's super weird. Okay, well, whatever. We win. We win. We win. Any second now. Whoa, hello. Oh, she still hit me. No, 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 no. Bro, half of those didn't even hit. Ah! Okay, GG's. 15% damage amp, really? Yes. Dang, I totally forgot yes. about that. Yes. Just goes to show how much bloat this character has. Honestly, he doesn't need it. Like, you could get rid of the passive entirely and just change a few numbers around and he'd be fine. And probably be better off for it. Well, 14 kills. Sky got 18 kills. Jeez. Popping off. And finally... Oop. One minute before the five hour mark, we do manage to end off the stream. Look at that. Problem is, now I don't know who I'm gonna raid, because normally I would just pop into Z's stream, but uh... Oh, you know what? Guys, let's uh, let's show Kami some support. I know he's not streaming Paladins, but he is streaming Overwatch, and I mean, let's just, let's show him some love. So, yeah. And, uh, of course, if you guys have enjoyed the stream, make sure to follow me here. Check uh, out the YouTube channel, Discord server, linked in the About section down below. Um, and, yeah, also, if you want to support, like so many people have done today, then you can, of course, subscribe. You get a watch ad free. Get some exclusive emotes. If you have Amazon Prime, you can do it for free. Really appreciate the support. But with all that being said, thank you guys for watching. I will see you all next time. Peace out. Peace out.